Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard. Today is a very, very special day because we are not only uh, bringing in a brand new game that is only available, well, soon to be available here in the States and is currently only available over in Europe, but as well as you guys probably noticed somebody new over there across the table. So... I'm Edward, happy to be joined by Ash, which you guys know. Hello! And our very, very special guest is Uli Blenerman, Hi. the head of Spielworks. So, yeah, Uli, welcome to uh, Game Day Heavy Cardboard. Yeah, I'm glad being here. So, it's, uh, it's really a pleasure and everybody has to handle my really thick German accent today and hopefully <laughs> at least 50% uh, can be understood by, <laughs> by uh, the heavy cardboard uh, listeners. So, All right. so, so cool. let's hope for that. It's yeah, not that heavy it's, of an you're, accent. You're, you're oh, well, 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 well. So to let everybody know, um, obviously we normally teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. As I mentioned, we have Gentis which is the brand new release from Spielworks, designed by Stefan Riesthaus, who may sound familiar for fans of the show. He, you know, won the Golden Elephant Award for Best Heavy Game of the Year in 2014 for Arkwright. So this is his first uh, big game follow-up, I think is a good, yes. a good way to put yes. it, right? Because he, he released a couple of smaller ones. He's done uh, Talon. He's done uh, Visby, some real small games, but yes. this is his big follow-up. Mm -hmm. So really, really excited about this. Um, uh, Tony Boydell is asking you, Uli, if you would please reserve him a copy at Essen. Uh, all right. I'll <laughs> do my very best. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So enough of, yeah, sadly, um, for those wondering, Amanda is exactly as Marlon said. She is unfortunately stuck at work. She tried to get today off, could not. There's nobody more bummed about that than her. So the good news, though, is we're going to be playing some games together tonight afterwards when she gets home. So at least she's not part of the stream, but she's here in spirit, and she'll be able to join us later on tonight. Yeah. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and let Uli go ahead and teach all of us yeah. Gentis, because both you and I mean, you just saw this for the first time. I'm just seeing this right now. And, yeah. yeah, and I saw this this morning for the first time. So yeah, so we'll be learning together. It's kind of kind of refreshing to not have to worry about teaching a game. I'll be honest. <laughs> well, so, your shoulders feel lighter. They, they do a little bit. Yeah. So no pressure. Relax. Have fun with it. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right. Go ahead, place your bets as we go along, and the big reveal. Here we go. So we have the board for Gentis. There we go. And we have a couple of options. We're going to keep the cameras down like we normally do during the teaches. Um, what you guys need to let us know is whether or not you would like it zoomed out like this during gameplay to where you guys can see Ash's tableau over there. Um, obviously, we're going to be able to see, sorry about that, we're going to see mine right there. But if you guys also want to be able to follow along with Ash's tableau, let us know. As it is, for the teach, we're going to bring it in a little bit tighter here so you guys can see that. And without further ado, Uli, it's all yours, sir. So let's try to start here. So um, as Edward uh, said, this is Gantis by Stefan Risthaus, art by Harald Lieske. It's for two to five, uh, four players. And it scales quite nicely, so only for two players it has a little bit of a difference, but I'm, I won't mention it uh, right now. The game plays over the course of six game turns, you see it here. So it's not an open-ended game, just six game turns. And you see that it's divided into three eras. So each era has two game turns, so easy enough. And of course, I'm now uh, describing the components you see around the game board the uh, scoring track. So everybody starts with zero victory points. And if one of us really has more than 50 points because this one, he, he takes this marker. So okay. also very easy. I suspect uh, only the white marker will be used today. I most, <laughs> most probably not. <laughs> so so uh, I, I don't think so. But uh, thank you. Yeah. So each player has a player board. So a player mat in front of right. um, so. himself. So and it's divided into various parts. Most important is a top row 
which is for the action markers and for the time markers. So I get to this a little bit later and you can already see that we have one hourglass marker here. Each player starts with one marker and five of these blocking cubes. So these this simply means this, these spots are blocked at the start of the game, but during the game you can remove them maybe and then you have more options okay, later. Okay, cool. Then to the left and to the right, to the left you have the oracle mar uh, spot mm -hmm. and you see it has also, this space has spots for four cubes yep. in there. So maximum of four cubes. Could go like so. Okay. Yeah, and on the right side you have the temple marker. Same thing here, you have hmm. four different spots. Okay. And very important is also the central part. You see there are six different people, characters. And um, it is a good option to, to train them during the game. Hmm. And I will get to this a little bit later, but then the cubes are moving in these rows from left to right and from right to left. So you can have, because there are six spots per row, a maximum of 18 people during the game. Okay. Hmm. But I get to this a little bit later. Sure. Um, also, I will explain the cards here later. So they are divided two into different eras. So right now we have the cards from the first era, but there are also cards for second and third era. Okay. So we get to this a little bit later. Um, and now get to the uh, main board, but first each player starts with 20 money here, so 20 coins or 20 gold. Mm -hmm. And these are your six cities that you can build during the game. This is a maximum that you can do. And first player marker. This is a first player it. marker, yep. right. Um, okay, so th now the main board over here. Um, it shows various tracks uh, during the game. But I want to explain the game a little bit differently by with a sequence of plane, uh, okay. play. Sure. So when it's your turn, you um, are, I get, uh, get back a, a one step. The game is divided into two different phases, which okay. is also on the player aid card. You start with a heyday phase, and then there is a decline phase on the back side, on okay. the flip side. Right. And at the end of the sixth turn, there is one time a final scoring. So, okay. And now going to the heyday phase, you can, what you basically do is, you take, you do one action at a time, one action at a time, and this is mandatory. You cannot voluntarily pass. Later you may have to pass, but as long as you have the option to, to do an action, you have to do it. Okay, so. as long as you can do it, you must. Got yeah. It. Okay. And although there's, of course, especially in a Spielworks game, no rule without an exception, but the mm. general <laughs> rule is, <laughs> the general rule is, when it's my turn, I grab one of the action markers that is still available on the board, and you see here that some of these spaces for markers are blank. Right. But this is just for four players, you see gotcha. over here. Okay. Okay. So we are just three players, so some of them are not needed. Got it. And normally, when it's my turn, I grab any one of the available markers, put them on my tableau, okay. and then, I get this back for a second, Sure. it shows you the oh. costs of the marker. Oh, so here, this actually, is zero I'll, money. I'll show folks okay. here on there. So. This is this for is money. money right. You have to pay it into the bank. Right. And then it tells you how many hourglasses you are taking. So In this case, hourglass. just one. Okay. And this one, actually, this marker oops, that you are having, I give mm -hmm. you this one too, may be actually better, although it costs for money, but it just takes one hourglass. And because both of these markers are put in the top row, so when you... Also, what you now immediately see, all of these hourglass markers mm -hmm. have, are double-sided. Mm -hmm. You have, mar the marker has one and two hourglasses. Right. And if you have, if you are grabbing an action uh, marker with two hourglasses, the other one, mm -hmm. exactly, you can either put in 
two of the ones. Oh, okay. So you one, have the choice either like or that one, two. or that. Yeah. Gotcha. And now okay. experienced players immediately notice, why should I ever play the one hourglass markers? Right. Because your turn, you have to pass when your spots, all spots are occupied, your turn is over. Okay. So you see, in, normally an action marker is already one spot uh -huh. and at least one of the hourglass markers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm. So you're saying... Like Both of them are getting in the top row. Okay. So, Got and it. your turn is over, one of the six game turns is over, for you at least, when you have no spots anymore. But now, as I said, experienced players will immediately notice, why should I ever Take put one yes because right. at the end of it, of one game turn you will flip you will remove all one hour uh, ma glass markers and flip the two from two to one okay. so you may start with one markers and less spots than the other players so that would go away and then yeah. this would then flip over and you, you can, and sometimes there are even markers which have three Oof. hourglasses. Of course, here it's very difficult to place three of the one hourglass markers. Plus, of course, your action marker here. Mm -hmm. But that's why it's important later in the game to get rid of your blocking cubes here. So that you have more, more spots. Yep. And to sense. turn forward um, again a little bit. At the end of an era, so at the end of the first era and at the end of the second era, not at the third because the game is over, each player may remove one of the blocking markers. Okay. But there are cards which allow you to remove uh, these blocking markers too. But this is for all players, right? Which there is actually, one. Actually, let me zoom out just a, just a hair. There we go. And you guys can see right here on this card at the bottom, there's one of those symbols that yes. shows to be able to remove a blocking. But stone. let's assume this is Ash's card, uh -huh. but of course he can only do this, okay. whereas here all players are Got allowed it. to, to do it. this. Easy enough. Yeah, so. sure. But this mechanic here, placing action marker and hourglass marker, this is most important in the game. Okay. General rule, you have to do a main action. A main action is taking one of the available markers paying for them, money plus hourglasses, and placing these markers here. Okay, so just as simple as take it off, put it up here, there I pay the four money, I put one hourglass on there, and now I have room for four more, more. tiles, whether that's actions or time markers, right? Exactly, cool. right. Roger so, that. And in addition, you can do various amounts of supplementary actions. I get to this later. This okay. is basically just a manipulation of the oracle and uh, of the temple tracks okay. each player has. Mandatory action plus supplementary actions. Okay. So let's um, go to the various actions here and okay. then everything is pretty clear hopefully. Okay. And we're following along here on the, uh, on the player aid and it yes. just says in clockwise order each player conducts a player turn which is pay action Place the action tile on the time tile on the time track, which is what we just showed, and then conduct the main action, which is one of the six that are out here. Exactly. And as I also said, no rule without exception. Mm -hmm. You <laughs> see, and I will start with this, because we start with a text collector over mm -hmm. here. And um, the text collector, or it could be, I get, get one, I go one step back here for a second. It could be that you have only a single spot of your time scale left. Okay, meaning so, all these are full except for one. Exactly. Okay. And so now, normally, you cannot do an action anymore because you, you need can't take two a spots. Tile and you can't take a, yeah. a both. Gotcha. But this is a text collector. And okay. I can always use him here because there is no action tile. I take only an hourglass. So I can do it even with two hourglasses. Then I get immediately eight money from okay. the bank. Okay. If I t uh, only want to have four money, I only place one hourglass. Okay. So it's for a single spot. Okay. So the same thing is here for the new starting player. Normally okay. the start player, which is right now Edward, does not change. So it's not in clockwise order, next turn it's another player, gotcha. okay. you stay a, a, a starting player. But if I take this tile over here, I do not take 
an hourglass. I just take this marker and in addition, I get two money. Gotcha. So it's and two it, And you should point out, it's a tile, it's so a it, it does go up here. Yeah. And this okay. is also possible if you have just a single spot left on your tile. That makes sense. But of course, sometimes it's pretty important to grab this marker early. Especially in a four-player game, if you regularly are fourth player, <laughs> it's very difficult to win because all the good action tiles are probably grabbed or the best cards. The start player sees all the cards and can select sure. within limits the best possible cards. It's possible to win this game if I'm second player constantly, if nobody changes this. Mm -hmm. but always being third or fourth player it's difficult it's okay. difficult okay so this is the exception already done right now so we can move through the individual um actions here okay and i start so far pretty simple oh yeah, yeah. okay uh, everything clear so far yeah, yeah I First think so. Player, yes yeah. okay uh, so we go to the philosopher these this is this action part here i did this before the game so and you see these are the six people that each player ah. has on their player board. Okay, represents these guys out here. Exactly. Okay. And this was selected or uh, placed randomly okay. before the, the start, the order of okay. them. And these are the action tiles. And now let's assume it's my turn and I want to do this action. Or let's Edward do this sure. because right. it's on the camera. Right. So you are grabbing this marker here okay. and right. of course you have to pay for it it costs four it, money right so it you get four this money and one time tile so exactly okay. so Good. this is handled and okay. now you can either train one or two people okay so these are the cubes of your um gotcha. of your player uh, board of your player mat and you have to stay within the cost limit of your tile your action tile uh -huh. is saying four. Oh, okay. So, so that means I can only spend a maximum of, of four. four but you okay. do not get any change. If you just spend two, you're not getting two back. It's four of what you're paying immediately gotcha. when you grab the marker. Okay. You see, if you just want to train one person, one character, one people, right. you can grab anyone. Okay. So, maximum costs for taking one is four. Oh, that's not for training. That just means I get to train in him. him. You're, okay. to get, you're training him. But if you see, I want to train two. You want to train two. You can, you can train these two. You mm -hmm. could also train this guy twice or this guy twice. Mm -hmm. But okay. you cannot train anybody else okay. here. So, um, if you are fine with this, or if you are, do not have too much money left, this is a good option. Of course, you could have taken this guy here, Which this is, action tile, right. but you have to pay eight for it. But then you can train anybody twice or okay. pick any two. Got it. But afterwards, because the costs are not fixed, let's simply, I do a very a simple um, example here for your four action tile. Yep. And I train this one. Okay. So it's placed out and it goes to the oh. end. <laughs> wow. So through, wow. during the game, this is very simple, but during the game you will see lots of changes. Oh, because, very dynamic. Okay. Uh, and let's assume I train two with a higher marker, like with a six marker. I can train these two. Mm -hmm. Then the more costly one is uh, put in here first. So it, it changes run, the order. Run me by that last So uh, the, you train these, and yep. this one is moved uh, in Whoever's first. Whoever's further up goes yes. to get back into the Hopefully I get first. this right. So don't, don't nail me on this, but I'm too <laughs> lazy to look it up. I will look it up when it comes up That's later funny. during the game. Okay. But so uh, the cost of these people will Fluctuate. change during the game. Gotcha. So okay. just to show folks at home, so if I chose, since it's a $4 max, so I choose these two, then I can show folks over on my tableau, the one in the toga right here, he would train one there. Perfect. And then the one in the yellow would train one and it would go like so. And we stay with your uh, player tableau, with uh -huh. your player mat for a second. You see, these markers can only move in a row. Right. Across. So, right. Uh, uh, and uh, you can, they can never be in one row in the same spot. 
It's impossible. But they can be in adjacent spots. So, for instance, if this guy keeps training up and it's like that, then he's yes. limited to that one training spot, Yes, right? of course. If you want to train one of these again, uh -huh. then you have to push the other guy back. Oh. So you lose basically one of the other others uh, over okay. there. So and you can have a maximum forward. of 18 persons because it's six spots right. per row. So and 18 is okay. a maximum. But of course it depends how you want to develop your people. This okay. is also important and that's why you train them. And it will get clear later why it's important to train your people. Okay. Cool. So this is necessary. Easy so enough. this is this action here. So, yeah, but you can keep uh, okay. with your, no, you, you can keep your uh, hourglass markers, just put maybe okay, this one gotcha. back and in here. It, to make sure that it's clear to you guys at home also, it shows exactly what the starting tiles are underneath that are shadowed out. So this one will always start there, etc. Right. etc. Yeah, okay. although later during the game, because at the end of each and every game turn, we return the action tiles and then it doesn't matter where they are uh, placed here. Gotcha. So, but for the start, it gives you a good idea. Uh, okay. So oh, I mean, the board it. tells you how to set it up because right. there's even pips on the ones that are removed for, for yes. more players. Yeah. Yes, right. So now we have the navigator, yep. which is over here, the blue part, okay, yeah, of action sense. tiles. Yeah. Um, so again, same rule here for it. If you take one of the action tiles here, you are building a city. Oh, okay. So that's these guys right, right. here. And you put it on the board. But okay. you see, if you are picking one of the two uh, action tiles with a temple marker, I have to put my city on a temple city, okay. which right. has the yep, same yep, symbol. Yep. I cannot sense. put them on the other symbols. Okay. So it has to be here, or it could be any other color. So it could be here, but it has to be a temple marker. Okay. okay. And per city spot on the game board, on the main board, only one city and one player. So it's not possible that I place a second city here or that Ash adds a city over there. Gotcha. So it's once, grabbed. once a temple is there, that's it. That's it. Got so it. It's, it's, it's done here. Okay. And you immediately get the bonus connected to the city. So in this uh, uh, one here, in this example, Edward, let's say I'm, Edward has done it. Sure. He okay. takes one of the cubes and puts it in his temple area. That makes sense, right? So, so there, there we go. Boom. of course, we if go. this one is full, because there are just four spots, he right. loses his marker. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So meaning if there were four already there, I just wouldn't be able to play. But, so yeah. I would, oh, I, it's you full. Forfeit. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, normally so it won't happen because you want to do the supplementary actions gotcha. during the game okay. because they are helpful. Cool. And let me quickly go through the bonuses here. Okay. So this is, you are adding a, uh, a cube to the temple. Right. Same thing here. You are oracle. adding to an oracle, and you also see that the here you place um, a city on an oracle city. Sure. One of your wooden cities. Mm -hmm. These are the trade cities, which so, are going to be like this. Yeah, and here. And, yep, yeah. No, gotcha. and, yeah. Okay. In this example here, you are getting that amount of money. So I uh, I take five money from here. And here, these are victory, victory points. points. Immediately yeah. getting that amount of victory and points. The symbol matches there is what's on there, so yes. it's consistent. Yeah, okay. and this is also pretty easy. What is important? Let me put this back for a mm -hmm. second. Sure. Let's assume I've all I've already I'm owning this city, and I'm placing a second city over here. And you see, cities are uh, attached or connected to three different colors regions so, if you regions will. Yeah. yeah you have the red region the yellow uh, the yellow region and the green region mm -hmm. and if i place a city into a region of the same color i'm not only getting immediately that bonus but all oh. the other bonuses again they re-trigger wow. so they re-trigger okay. but if i have it like this i'm and i'm placing now this marker right. You're here. only going to get the yellow, not this the red. This one, not. Natural. Right, sure. But it's also, it will get clearer later why it can be a good tactic 
to be spread out. Okay. It can right. be a valuable tactic, but this one is, of course, strong if you do it like this. Six cities is, by the way, the maximum. Okay. You yeah, cannot well, have yeah. more because we have only, yeah, only six, six markers so here. Choose okay. Well. <laughs> and um, I did not mention that this one is a joker city. Oh, wow. sure. it, oh, okay. Yes, I can uh, use it for any of the sure. three symbols. Okay. But to make it a little bit more complex, you can also place cities as hometowns here. So you either, if I grab a marker here, I use it here on the main board or I use it in this area. Here. Okay. So again, you see the various markers. So it corresponds, so the, the oracle has to go in the oracle or in the oracle out here, right? Exactly. Okay. So, and let's say I place it here because I uh, have taken one of these markers. Later, you see, first there is no bonus connected to this one. Right. So why should I ever do this? Tell but, us, Uli, why yeah. should I ever do this? <laughs> because you are later allowed to use in uh, what is this the, the uh, horizontal yeah, the uh, line yep. in this row the, the bonus uh, one of the bonuses here okay so and i will explain this uh, real quickly um, over it. no i won't explain it i will only first explain all the actions and then the bonus markers okay, sure. but i can only use one of these cities once during a turn let's say i want to use this bonus then i put one of the markers here, so it just shows okay. you I cannot I use, use this bonus this anymore. Okay. And also what I can um, uh, already now explain is I cannot use both of the bonuses okay. here. So either this one or that one. Of course, now I could use both of course. in two different actions. Now, yeah, because uh, we, I could even use the same one twice. There you go. So. That's what I was going to ask. Okay, cool. So e every every... Uh, building that you have out here allows you to do one of your choice of the two until it's been used and then you mm -hmm. can't use it the rest of that round. And Got this it. one is very strong. This one is very strong, but on the other hand, because it re-triggers a bonus here, sure. this one can be also okay, so can you, be strong. I mean, you you got a you a tough choice on where you want to place it. That makes yeah, sense. exactly. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so now we move, uh, I've explained the text collector and the new starting player. Yep. We now move to the scribe over here. Okay. Um, yep. Is this one? No, it's the, the chronicler. So wh what does it say? Yeah, uh, to be able to play a card? Yes, uh, y here you are playing a card. Here okay. you are getting new cards. Here you well, are playing a card. That makes sense. You see the plus yes. over there and then the, yeah. the action. action. Was, yeah, yep. yeah. Here you're playing a card. Okay. So a card is played from your hand. So okay. as first, and we will later start with two cards already on our hand. Mm -hmm. But here you play a card from your hand to your table. That's okay. what you're doing. Okay. So for instance, if I had previously gotten this card up there, it's in my hand. If we take this action, again, and correct me if I'm wrong, so we, uh, let's say I choose this one here, I would play it out here. I would then take, say, two hourglasses. I would pay no money, and right. then I could play any of the cards that are in my hand down to my tableau. Right. Yeah, um, uh, almost right, okay. because all right. Uh, in order to play um, a card, uh -huh. there are certain... Uh, prerequisites. Uh, exactly, sure. prerequisites. Okay. And um, please take this one card as well, okay. uh, Edward. All right. Because, uh, and please put, um, you can see it, I think, yeah. on camera, yeah, yeah. both yeah. of them. And there are actually seven uh, areas um, uh, on the card with prerequisites. Okay. So uh, first, you see um, y there is there may be a spot for a city that m that is uh, on top, for hey. example here. Oh, okay. Uh, for um, from instance, this is uh, Oracle. Yeah. yeah. So okay. th now you know you need to have an Oracle city already uh, built on the board. Okay. Otherwise, you cannot play this card. So okay. Oracle here or. or here. Or there. So Got this it. is, okay. and uh, if you do not have this, you cannot play this card. Okay, that makes and sense. And in the first e era here, there are not too many cards out there where you need as a prerequisite Pre okay. uh, a certain city. But later in the third turn, in the third area, there are you need mm. even several ones maybe. Wow. Oh, okay. So, 
But each and every card has six spots for people. Yep. And if now. they are yep. shaded, you do not need them. Okay. But the other ones, you need them on your player mat. So that amount of of people. If you do not have them, you cannot play this card. And it's that ma that number or, or more, right. of okay. course, so or more instance, minimum amount. To play the catapult, it doesn't require a. Oop, wait, sorry, guys. Um, for the catapult here, it does not require a city. It requires my yellow worker here to be at a level two. It requires the one with the shield and spear to be at one. Nothing for the, them, nothing, nothing, and then one for the guy in the toga. Now, the guy in the go. toga, uh, that's shaded, so that's not required, right? No, no. Uh, what he means by shaded, and correct me if I'm wrong here, Uli, but uh, if they're in color, if the guys oh, themselves... Okay. Yes, color yes color shaded, shaded was, gotcha. was wrong. Gotcha. Uh, actually, it's it's even easier to look just it's on just the numbers. Number. On the yeah, numbers. Yeah, yeah. So that's, okay. uh, that's what it is. That makes sense. And it's uh, done in the same order as on your player mat. Right. So okay. you can, on the left side, from yep. top to bottom, right side, from yep. top to that bottom. So sure. it should be pretty easy. But this is necessary in order to play the card. Okay. If you cannot do this, well, uh, bad luck, and you can only <laughs> play better, right? and you can only play a single card. Even uh -huh. if you have five cards on your hand, with this action here, you play a single card from your hand. Okay. Okay. Cool. And of course, a card also gives you a bonus. Otherwise, or several ones. Otherwise, you would not play them. Right. So easiest uh, oh, thing yeah, is sure. easiest sure yeah is the victory points again over there. Mm -hmm. So immediately you get this. Uh, that amount of victory points. Yep. But on top of that, uh, each and if, uh, every card here, oops, excuse me. Sure. Um, here has four different rows of symbols. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And most of them have one or two. Sometimes uh, later in the third era, they do not have any of them. Okay. Let's right. assume Edward has already placed these two. Okay. And he's now playing this card. How many victory points is Edward now getting? Of it's course, either going to be two for that card or it then triggers everything again. Um, no, <laughs> uh, a okay. little bit differently, but okay. almost correct. So, okay. of course, you are getting the two victory points. But then you are selecting a single row of symbols over there. Okay. And you see here, it doesn't really connect too well. But for each and every card, you get at least that point here in addition. So this card is definitely worth three points, two plus one. Okay. But let's assume yeah. you have played this card here. Uh -huh. You get okay. only one point and then now you select one row. You could select the top row which gives you plus two points. You could also say, I'm using this row here. It's okay. another two points. Okay. So and it doesn't have to be one uninterrupted row. You, could, you always look from the card you are placing. Okay. And then you can select one of the four rows. Okay. And if I now move fast forward for a, a second, sure. this is a third era card. Mm -hmm. If I, you see, it's 18 <laughs> points, oh, but cow. it doesn't give you any bonuses. What, do you need it, it with 18 it, points? <laughs> but sometimes, yeah, if you see in the second area, if you have maybe a card that is worth six or seven points and you have lots of bonuses here via the rows, okay. it can be even more attractive sure. or as attractive. Okay. And you also see this card is, how, how is, really, yeah. is really costly. Yep. And this card can stay for a second here. Okay. But let's move through the other things that sure. are still there okay. on a card. Uh, you're not only getting victory points, but also um, at the bottom there is a bonus. And this is connected to the phase of the game. You see okay. this is a heyday phase. Oh, yeah. okay. And if you... So, and We're if in you the heyday phase. Yeah. yeah, but if you flip this over, Edward, please, you see the the moon mm -hmm. is connected here to this. You see oh. it in the decline phase. Mm -hmm. You would get for every one of this character person type two money. So let's say you Edward has five of these, he would get ten money. So for, if it's for like this that, one. right? But only in the okay. decline phase, you cannot do this during your main action phase in the heyday So phase. you're going to get money, just not right now. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gotcha. a, but it's a yep. good money engine because sure. money is 
always scarce. In the well, game. I would sure. be disappointed otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I will explain the rest when we go through the cards that I laid yeah. out, yeah. and so otherwise it gets yeah. too complex. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's, uh, yep. But this is how each and every card works. It has some prerequisites, and then you're getting victory points and one or more bonuses for, for a card. So somebody in chat is mentioning that, wow, there's a lot of information on there, but there is, but it actually seems pretty intuitive because of the fact that really, okay, what are my prerequisites? This is going to be down here in this bottom, here, I'll put it here so there's no glare. Um, prerequisites going to be over here. You have your victory point and any other bonus that it has over on the right side. And then just know that whenever you play this, you trigger one of the set of symbols to be able to get uh, additional uh, points. Uh, additional yeah. points. One question on that note: mm -hmm. If with this card here, with the port, um, do I ha do I have to choose the the water symbol or the uh, asterisk symbol, or can it be one of the others that aren't on there? Uh, can you show me the card? I, sure. I cannot okay. see my, my so, old so, eyes. No so. worries. So here, I'll show you. So mm -hmm. it has to be one of those two yes. symbols yeah. that I trigger. So I mm -hmm. cannot trigger the second row, which in this case would be that one, nor could I trigger the bottom row if I'm playing this card because it has to have those symbols. And that's why in the third phase, this era three card, not phase, sorry, era three, there are none here, meaning you cannot trigger anything. anything. You cannot it. trigger. It's always done from the card you are cool. placing. But again, I would really say on first glance, there is a lot of information that's what it is right but when we are later playing because you are doing just a single action you can play only a single card you are simply looking do i have the city right. on my board do i have the, the guys right. if you do not have them you do not play uh, the card Pretty then simple. you are looking <laughs> up uh, the points that you are getting right. and of course you should have an uh, have an idea what the if the bonus good for me if it is it necessary right. or should i maybe wait playing this card because it's an action so i'm with this action i've already occupied two of my valuable spots sometimes maybe it's not even a good option to play a card although yeah cards it's a civilization type uh, game they are useful they, sure. they they and they give lots of points so sure. you will uh, play cards but it's not i play five cards so i have to look up everything gotcha. it's, it's, it's it's the, one here so you're talking it's a very narrow of cards focus. that yes. you're going to be playing gotcha. right okay right got it um okay. so this is this action and now we are going to the scribe this is the last action this is even the easiest one so i return this for sure. for a second yep. or please do so edward yep. over there and uh, um, i'll take that level three card there you go yeah All right. um and you see it's even um there are two different things to do uh, which can be done they are okay. separated by the thick sure. slash which here. is universal this or this or this right, right? Yeah. got it and you see here the plus also s uh, tells you i may buy additional cards not to the table of course to my hand first right. okay and again this is a standard um uh, um, action you take mm -hmm. an, the action tile plus hourglass or hourglasses and the same thing as over here this allows you this amount of money you are spending allows you how many um, cards you may buy you may buy one or two or even three cards okay. at the same time oh. so let's say Edward is taking this tile here okay. he's He's only spending six money. Right. Here, actually, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So yeah. folks can see if I can do it. There we go. Just focused on this area right here for right now. Go ahead. So yeah. if I choose this one. You may only spend six money. But if you see with six money and you, and you are assuming I only need one Sorry, additional yes. card. Okay. So if you see with this row with just one card, so you there. can almost buy any card okay. but not these two because mm. this is seven or eight gotcha so, so it's very really easy. similar to the yeah. exactly the exactly up there. Okay. but if you want to buy two cards it has to be two out of the first four cards over here right, right? because six money so i can choose any two of these over here that makes sense yeah. okay and if it. you want to buy three it has to be Those the first three, three cards okay 
Afterwards, if somebody has board cards, mm -hmm. the other ones are moving, are pushed to the, uh, to the side. And if there are additional cards out there, you simply refill it immediately, okay. but only immediately after one turn. So it's okay. not, I take a card and then I look up what sure. other card is, is coming in. Finish your turn, turn, but before your you, turn, it will be right. I gotcha. Right. And then, because you said if there were cards remaining, because here, let me back back out so mm -hmm. I can show you guys. Um, so era one, so if we buy up all the cards in era one, then it doesn't refill. I exactly. I right. it's, okay. And it can happen in a four-player game. In a okay. three-player game, Maybe it's not. seldomly okay. uh, done, but this is um, normally it's not a problem if, if everything is done. But it's also a thing why the starting player is important because you have you can take a look at on all the cards and buy them before anybody else is yep. buying them and of course there are just four of these markers here okay. so that makes sense um okay then that was that action here with a plus gotcha but this means out of the discard pile of cards Damn. because okay. at the end of an era all remaining cards of the former era right. are removed okay. and refilled by the cards from the following era. Okay. So, but let's assume Ash has lots of cards with lots of nice symbols in one row. So let's assume the top row. So he really wants old cards uh, Some of because these that have been discarded. Uh, uh, discarded cards, he wants them because he says, "Well, they are pretty cheap in people. I, the prerequisites are easy to fulfill, sure. okay. and I still get lots of points." So, if he pays six money, mm -hmm. he can look through the discard pile mm -hmm. stack. It's not that you have to take the top one; okay. you simply take a look, you grab the one, the card you want. And right. if you even want two of them, you have to pay ten. This is okay. expensive, but still, it may make sense. It gives you options. It gives you options. So, okay. but with a marker, it's either that or that it's not okay. oh well i pay one card and then with the eight marker i pay just <laughs> this one and then i still have seven so i take one of these sure. either that or that yeah. okay, okay. Makes sense. so you choose so you see the big slash yep. you choose one of these two options if you choose the latter option then you have those two options because that makes right. sense. a smaller yeah. slash yeah, yeah, yeah yes yeah. okay all right cool yeah this is the game board here apart from the bonus markers here. okay all right so you see a stack of three different bonus markers. Mm -hmm. And this is a card symbol, this is a person, people symbol, right. and this is the city symbol. Okay. The first player to have placed all of his six cities on the board oh. gets and then eight it's points. It's diminishing numbers. Okay. Uh, the, yeah. the others both four. So we can still, let's say Ash has grabbed his eight markers, we can still get there's, four points. So there's no rush after the first person is traded. Right. It. Okay. It's the same thing here if the first player has all 18 people on his board because this is a maximum. You're grabbing this and, marker. And let me, it just occurred mm -hmm. to me what you mean by 18. So by 18, you mean that's three on the yellow, that's three on him, that's three there, three there, et cetera, et cetera. Or any permutation. Any, or, any permutation. Any mix, it could be mix. five, one uh, in a row, any mix. It, it's gotcha. still, so, but if you see that Everything is connecting, uh, connected there. So yes. then you know it's 18. You don't because have to count them. And you see on the top, you, you yep. can see also how many you have. So and thank you for that. Yeah. For uh, someone who has uh, to count on his hands. And, for uh, and no, no, no problem, no problem. You, <laughs> okay. This will work so out. Even, so even this, you're saying, is still 18 because yes. it's going to be on the right side. This guy is going to be one. On the left side, that's going to be five. It's always going to be six per row. Yes. Got it. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. Um, and cool. the last bonus marker is number of cards Card played. Played, played to the table. Yep. First one who has eight cards on the table, mm -hmm. eight bonus points. This is another um, uh, option to play maybe cheaper cards because they are easier to fulfill. So it's maybe it is easier to have eight cheaper cards on the table than eight of the really expensive cards, which of course give more bonus points. Sure. 
So, okay. but it's, it can be very attractive. So these are the bonus markers. Okay. So these are the actions here. I haven't described these bonuses right. here. And then we quickly move to the uh, decline or phase decline, and sorry. to yep. the yep. final scoring. But okay. this is cool. very simple. So let's go uh, move over to these uh, markers over here. And you see in the top row, this is connected to this action sure. because you see it's the same color. Okay. Let's assume I'm doing this bonus action here. Okay. I have to do a standard action over here. I have to still take one of these action markers. I still have to take the hourglasses. But now I fix the costs. Oh. I'm not paying oh, nice. six money here. Maybe you pay nine, maybe you pay two. Um, exactly maybe I'm two just more. paying yeah. one. If okay. I just have one money left and I need this card, of course I'm uh, I need I have to take this card, but because it's just for one sure, money. Sure. But I can determine how much I want to pay. Okay. The other one is a little bit different. Here, you only take the hour marker here. So it's not that you take this tile too, which in, uh, you have to pay six and you have to pay the hour marker. But, but I'm not too, so marker. it's just what, if you have one left. Okay. So this is easier to, of course, if you have one of these, but again, first you need an, you Fair. need a city to use this. Okay. So it's not that easy, of course. Um, basically, it's the same thing here for this area here. Yeah. yeah, you either don't take the actual physical tile, you just pay and get the time, or you take the tile, but you pay what you want. Right, Got same it. thing here. Okay. Here, it's the same thing. Um, if, you, if you are using the tax collector, uh -huh. hmm. I can say, well, I take double the amount of so money. So eight or 16, yes. that's a lot of money. But of course, okay. you still have to take the hourglasses. The time, sure. Here. And this one is also very attractive because it allows you to train one more people. Just one person. One person. Wow. So within the usual limit, let's assume Edward takes this marker. Okay. For C, he pays six money, one hourglass. So, and with six money, of course, he can train any two of the first four over well, in here. In this case, now it's any three of it's the first four. It's any three. Yeah. Okay. Or if with this four, it's any two. Of, because sure. for four you're getting that just one additional one. Okay. But of course, also very valuable, depending on your situation sure. in the and game. They're, they're completely de individually dependent, depending yeah. on what strategy you're going after. Sure, that makes, yeah. that makes sense. Okay, I still have to uh, explain the bonuses on the cards out there, but I would uh, for a second go to the decline sure. yep. phase. First, the new starting player is simply determined. Whoever nobody, does that. It, nobody has taken this start player stays. If okay. somebody has taken the start player, look at his uh, player yeah, mat yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. He's a new, he gets a marker. Very okay. easy. Afterwards, we, it's just an administrative uh, stuff. We remove all one markers, our glasses from our so mat. right here. So these so would come off. The two and then this one is over. flipped over, 201. Okay. And of course, we remove all of these uh, cubes from, okay. from our home cities, okay. also from cards. I will explain this. Sure. Uh, sometimes you can have on a card a cube. And um, also at the end of an era, you're removing one of these uh, blocking uh, markers okay. here. Then of course, a turn marker is advanced. If there is a new era, you check if the cards have to be uh, removed and replaced with the new era uh, okay. cards. Yep. And at the end, your hand, card hand limit is checked. Okay. Because in order to avoid that people are simply taking cards to uh, play against other players and, and do, have no use of them, just stack them here and saying, I, I don't need them, I don't have Hate to play draft, them. Kind of. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. It, as long as you have a maximum of three cards, you are fine. Hmm. If you at that time have four cards or more, for each additional card above three, you have to take one hourglass and place it over in, in your player mat. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so, if it's so, just to, yes. so just to make sure, okay, so I will show folks just to put a, make sure I'm understanding mm -hmm. it as well. So if at the end of a round, 
or at the end of a decline phase. Right here, the last thing, check card limit. You're allowed three cards, no harm, no foul. Cool. The moment I have a fourth one, at that point, I then have to put have a, a, time a one time token for every card above three. Exactly. Got exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. But it, this is very simple. And normally, with experienced players, it won't happen. Okay. It won't happen. Sure. Because you don't have to always grab two or three cards. And grabbing three cards, it's very costly anyway. Sure. So, okay. Yeah. But if you just taking cards, not playing cards, well, it's, it's not a good idea to do this. Sure. Um, so no court card hoarding in no, like in terraforming no. Mars. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no 50 uh, card stack <laughs> over here. And I briefly but it go... it looks so good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I want to have uh, everything. Yeah. Right, yes. Of course. Um, at the end uh, of the six game turn, it's only once, yep. we do this final scoring, also pretty simple. First, at this time, you can score cards that are on your in your hand, mm -hmm. not played, but you only get half of the victory points and no bonus victory points for rows anymore. So let's assume you have just here. this card here, here. or these I'll, cards I'll, I'll on the table. Folks. So if I'm understanding, that's three plus zero plus three plus one, that's seven rounded up. So half, that would be four, four points, points, but I don't get any of these bonuses. Up right. There. Got it. Right. Okay, cool. Right. Um, and the same thing is true for hand cards that you cannot fulfill at this time, because the hand cards on the top one, which you just mentioned, you still have to fulfill the prerequisites for them. So if you do not have these people at that time or these cities, mm -hmm. you do not get 50% of the points. You get 50% minus points because you cannot fulfill them okay. uh, this is the second uh, stop uh, yeah. step and again round it up so again card hoarding may not Oof. be the best uh, idea but if you see well i have two hand cards here one is 10 victory points and one is seven victory points and let's better train some people also i won't have enough actions to play uh, both this cards. Uh, both right. cards yeah, because yeah. it's two actions, so right. four spots here at least. But at least at the end, I get fifty percent of the points. But if you cannot do this, if you do not have the prerequisites for them, then you are getting minus fifty percent of these points. Okay, so to be clear, so I, if I have all the prerequisites on all four of these cards, then I would get the the four points that we just explained. Yes. So seven rounded up being eight, half of that. However, let's say I can't fulfill these two, but I can fulfill those two. So then I would score two points, so that's four, four divided by two, yes. and then I would get four divided by two negative, so I actually scored zero the, points. Zero points. And Got but, it. Okay. but remember, this is only done once at the end of the game. Understood. This takes Understood. 30 seconds. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I very easy. It. I got it. And normally, because you should not have too many cards in a in a game turn sure. because there's this limit at the end right. of a turn. It's highly unlikely that there is a single player with six or seven cards in his okay. hand. It can happen Plain if you better. just buy cards <laughs> in, at the end, but well. And the rest is even uh, more simple because for each 10 money, you get one victory point. Sure. So really, hoarding money at the end of the game is, not, is also not a good yeah, strategy. Not a, not but it gives, you, it gives you something at least. Okay, sure. all right. And then, for every two cubes that you still have in your temple and in your oracle area uh -huh. over there, by the way, I have to explain these uh, bonus actions uh, too. I so did not do so so far. Here. If you have two, um, uh, for every two, you are getting one victory points. Okay. But normally you should not have too many because, although I haven't explained them yet, they are valuable, these supplementary okay. actions. Okay. So in other words, if you haven't spent them, at the end of the game, any point type yes. thing. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, and of course, at the end of the last game turn, uh -huh. what you're not doing is, uh, or what you are, what you are doing, but mm -hmm. what is not too important because there is not a, a, a later game turn, is um, normally what you, if this rule, which I'm now explaining, won't be in the game, in the last game turn, each player would only place two hourglasses here. 
because there is no future turn. So you and don't, there's you, no need to, to, put, to put, put the single ones. Got yeah? it. Got it. But if you now look at the player rate, first, standardly, as a standard routine, we remove the one hour glasses and flip over the two hour glasses to the one. And for each and every one hour glass there, you get minus victory points. Yeah, and you why? see, if you have only one, you only get two minus points, not too bad. Sure, but if you have four right plus, now. it's 16 uh, sure. minus points. So, 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 so don't you don't have a ton of hourglasses. Yeah, yeah. but uh, during playtesting, of course, uh, this happened because people, uh, very early in playtesting, people were simply placing in the last game turn only two hourglasses because there is no right. need to, to, uh, to do otherwise. Right. So. Stefan added this simple rule and okay. immediately the problem is solved. And again, <laughs> you are only doing this once at the end okay. of the game. Cool. Okay, so I still need to explain the oracle and temple area yeah. and, that's it. and the uh, right. bonuses yeah, yeah. here. Sure. So, and this is good that you have already uh, your cubes in there. If you remove from both areas your choice, any three markers. So it could be all three so from two, temple so or two, two or one. And one however, exactly. There we go. Three are out. Okay. You can add one person, one character, one people to your board permanently. It's simply so moved. moved Anyone over. is, is moved for okay. three. So this is pretty costly, but it can be very um, a very good um, move. Okay. Because these supplementary actions can be done whenever it's your turn. So you are looking at your hand cards. I'm, uh, I'm missing short. Yep. one short. You're doing this in, before that. Ah, fine. I play the card. Okay. okay. Very simple. Okay. If you are, if you now look at the symbol over the oracle, it has one cube. It's a cube removed from there. Yep. And you can... Um, move any two even um, markers in two different rows. Oh, so, so I can. So if this is here, I could bump that up, and if that one's there, I could bump that one down if I wanted. Right, exactly. Okay. So you stay with the same amount of people on your board, but in uh, two times you are adding persons, and two times you are losing persons okay. and it doesn't have to be in the same row okay so as you just uh, explained Edward yep. in the bottom row you are adding one in the central board a uh, row you are uh, removing uh, sure. one guy sure so you, so you end up with the same amount of workers it's just you're manipulating it to be able to fulfill the cards better right okay and so the, the last thing is if uh -huh. you from in the temple area if you remove one of these cubes one of the cubes you are uh, temporarily, you are getting an additional person, character. So, again, example is you are missing just one character. So I can say, well, I have it, but only temporarily for this action. You are not doing this sure. on your board. Okay. But of course, it's just one person and not as one cube removed and not three cu uh, cubes uh, removed okay. from both uh, different ones. Sure. And, of course, it's not good enough for this bonus marker because, because you need temporary. 18 yeah. on your board here. Got it. Okay. okay. So these are these bonuses here. So let's take a look um, on the bonus markers here. And here it's simple, simply you are allowed to place once one Oracle City on the board any spot that is empty but there without is having to take this action right okay and right. you see the x the crossed yep. out you do not get the bonus right sure so here let's take during the decline phase during there, the decline phase we explained this yep. and here it's five money simple not connected like here to any uh, amount of sure. people it's simply yep. five money okay also nice we have this one. So you are yep. the Remember owner, the player though. is removing Stop. a blocking um, marker there. Then we have um, these markers. Oh, okay, okay, let's sure. put them here, whatever is, is better. Sure. Yeah, and you see it here, a cube is fitting. Ah, okay. So you can only use this option once during your turn. During so, your turn or and it, it is the heyday phase. Meaning during, during the sun, it, not 
So basically, yeah. this is a main action you are uh, using. So let's assume you have this card in front of you, so it's uh -huh. already placed right. uh, from you on the table. You're putting the marker on top of it afterwards, of course. You pay four money and have to take one hourglass, but no marker. So first, you are um, have one more spot mm -hmm. later, and you can use this action even if all of these markers have been already taken. Gotcha. So it's a, it's just like this, but it's, it's four money. Four. So uh, okay. you see that with four money, of course, your selection choice of cards sure. is not as good, but still very nice okay very real quick nice. now you said you can do this once per turn so when they when when do these clear off of here at the end of the game turn in the decline phase okay, got it, it says got it. The, the um all of the cubes are removed from your hometowns and from civilization cards. gotcha okay so it's it's on it's the same thing that's why i moved them over mm -hmm. here this card can be this one can be used at any time okay this is a symbol for any time, yep. and it's the same thing as here. It's okay. plus one, and so actually you're not putting a cube on here. So this is my bad. But here it's the same thing, only yep. once, and you have this marker. It's a very inexpensive marker, and you cannot use, um, or you cannot train too many of the expensive ones. Right. But still, it's an additional action. Well, so it's very a nicely, sure. nicely done. Okay. And you also see that sometimes here you not you only get the get victory points you, you, you get, get a person you're mm -hmm. getting a person and it's a permanent person you gotcha. immediately yep. have it here and you see we had this area you permanently three. lose one, one of person. those okay. and it can be even sometimes that you get one and you lose an, a different one okay, okay. Yeah. all right and this one is done after the prerequisites okay so you first need to show that you have them let's assume you are losing them then it doesn't matter if you're well, not sure having you the played. prerequisites sure. anymore okay. so but this is simple you need to look it at this once and then it's yep. it's done yeah that makes sense uh i've explained this one this one is here you have also a virtual Guy. Permanent plus Pre one to him. Right? Yeah, but I it's gotcha. not good enough for huh. 18 which, for which the bonus for marker. That. Got it. Yep. I think okay. we explained everything now. I think that's for, for it. pretty much it. So, and this may seem complicated. I probably have forgotten. No, no, actually, it's pretty straight. Well, what, what, I, what, <laughs> what I did not mention here is why should I ever place branch, branch out right, exactly right. why should i ever do it in the decline phase you activate all of these uh, you activate oh. some of your cities here you activate the civilization cards right. with a decline phase symbol right and you uh, you activate cities over here but only one city your choice per colored region oh so here I'll get five bucks, I'll get five bucks, and then if it's over here, I would get two points or whatever. Um, let's Whereas assume I have it here. I select either I get an oracle cube for my here, or I take five money. Mm -hmm. Got it. Whereas okay. here, if I do it here, you it is nice during the turn because it re-triggers the other yep. ones, but later only one. Okay. So, yeah, but of course, it depends also what the other players are doing. Sure. If all the spots are already taken, then well, yeah, well, your choices are somewhat limited. Cool. But I think if I've now missed uh, a key rule, then we sim I will simply explain it during. Our I trip. think that's fine. So we'll, we'll go ahead and draft out. some cards. Oh, oh, right. Oh, we, we draft some right. cards. So let me zoom out for this. Now you said in your first game normally yeah, the, you wouldn't do this. In, in, in the, sta the rules explain okay. that because every each player starts with two hand cards already. Okay. And um, there is a standard setup where cards are given, handed out 
to two players. Mm -hmm. But here, what we are doing, we, we do it like the because we are experienced players. So at least two at this table are experienced. Ash and Edward and I are <laughs> playing a little bit. So, so uh, I think we will make it. So everything is is uh, flipped open here. Okay, you said nine uh, of them. Uh, nine of them because okay. three cards per player. So okay. three players, yep. nine cards. But it, we will only draft two of them. The other three cards are again afterwards mixed into the stack of remaining cards okay cool and what you also and need to sorry, know is Ash, oh no it's, fine. it's okay. because edward is starting player it's uh, well, done in sure. counterclockwise order sure. so ash, ash first card first. second card okay. third card cool. and then again one additional card what you have to keep in mind is after what, uh, we have taken our two cards mm -hmm. each player may already on his board take to train four people any wow. four people okay so of course you should look so for cards these, sure, that yeah. you can already train and if if you can already train the or if you have the people for two cards the better all the better. of course okay. all the better okay. so you have first pick i think and it you was see, well done yes yeah, so well, yeah, well, well, well i, I was nervous was well i was nervous oh no, you did fine so I get, because I have only second choice, I take one of the delicious Coke here. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, um, let's so see. if you if you have a question on the bonuses here, so you said we get four people to start with after we have drafted our cards. Exactly. Okay, Roger that. So this is simple. The the two yeah. additional people, which is strong, which oh, is smart. strong. Yeah, yeah. This is the um, an additional yeah, one. It's the same thing, uh, yeah. I think, like this. Okay. This is the same thing, like this one, just for the trading cities. Okay. This one is, of course, very oh, strong. Right. I, I will, I, I will recommend that. this one. I saw that. I immediately you. recommend uh, okay. it to you. If the if the this one says here, take this. You take you, this. You hey, I, <laughs> I'm not a, a, a strong player, so whatever <laughs> I say, I, I would be. But these are also nice because they give. It's Extra basically money. the mm -hmm. sure. uh, this yeah, one yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So because mm. I'm a greedy one. So All right. So place see. your bets. As I see, everybody is Giovanni. His bets are on Amanda number one, Asher number two, <laughs> Uli third, Ash fourth, and then me. So, all right, I, I, that's probably a good bet, I think, right yeah. now. Yeah, that, that I'm fourth in a three play, <laughs> and this can happen. <laughs> Uh, but let's simply, um, I don't want to um, take sure. this one. I take the, the well here. To me, what seems smart to me is I like the idea of being able to get additional, additional workers. workers. It's yeah. a very on. good choice. It's um, a very so good I'm choice. I'm going to go ahead and take that into my hand. And now, Ash, you take, so it's not a snake. So no. Ash then, so the because you are the starting player, right? and, and yeah. this is very strong, right? right? And because it it requires an action for him to change that, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm just trying to track from what my initial cards are. Sure. To, uh, oh, take, no worries, dude. No worries. There's a lot going on here. I there like is. this. <laughs> um, you know, I'll take the incense depot. The incense depot here. right here. Thank cool. you. Cool. All right. So, and to show this, I have already taken this card, and you see it would be nice if I can fulfill this with four people here. So this is a nice choice. That's no, close. it's not. It's, it's, uh, close, it's close. This one is... Uh, so you've grabbed the right one, I see. <laughs> this is horrible, so I take this one. So your uh, bets should be really on my first place. And uh, I'm actually looking at the exact same thing. So if you see over here on the left-hand side, there's not really a really good match. However, I will get another brown one, which is going to be a top right. And so here, so helps. I'm actually, yeah. so there you go. So I'm actually looking at... So you, 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 you so, have lots of yeah, choices yeah. here. So, uh, so I'm looking at not only, uh, so this is my card, but I'm also looking at, okay, so the top there, one away there, that's Marketplace pretty close. Marketplace isn't a bad Plus isn't they bad match choice. up well on it's symbols. Exactly, I, I would say go. so. So I'm going to take those. And two. these are reshuffled back yeah. into this stack. And, and I'll so, handle the draw files. Okay. okay, cool. I'm, I'm well positioned for it. All right. So okay, now, we can now start. All right, so here's my question for you guys at home real quick. Uh, before we get started now, is it better like this? Um, or would it be better if we brought it in tighter like that to where you're not going to be able to see the cards that Ash plays, but you'll at least be able to see most of his tableau. And in fact, we could probably bring this back over a little bit right there. Yep. 
and that way you can see the rest of Ash's tableau. I think that's probably the best way to do that. Get these out for right. a second. There we go. They are cool. Not in. Right Good. now, and it's your turn All again. Right. So, and thank you everybody for joining us. Yeah, um, thanks a lot. And um, you cannot do any supplementary action because you do not have any sure. cubes. So it's one main action. That's what you're doing right now. Okay. No. So well, what again? We be miss something. Every player four, simultaneously four should select four people. There are four. Okay. okay. All right. So here, I'll show you guys mine. So mm -hmm. I am because this is going to give me the extra guys. I'm going to go ahead and set this up so it's one there, it's two there, and it's one. It might be short-sighted, but I think that feels pretty good here for the winery. Okay? And uh, just so, just for those playing along at home, I'm going to set myself up to build the shrine. Okay. To be there set you go. for cool. that. All right. Okay. Okay, so everybody says, yeah, they like this. So we'll leave it cool. here for the main view. All right, so the options that I'm thinking about for my first turn is to either build a temple out here to be able to get a bonus action or, or a uh, take the additional action out there early. The other option is to be able to play a card out here and actually, hold on, oh, trying to cheat. Yeah, no there problem. we go. <laughs> um, to be able to play a card, which, you know what, I'm not going to overthink this too much. I am just going to go ahead and take this action, which... As you guys can see, that's going to cost me zero money. That's going to get me two hourglasses. But again, you I can could do one and one. But if I this way, I still can take two more actions this way potentially. So I think I'll leave it at that. We'll see how it goes. Um, and then that allows me to play a card to my tableau. So my tableau now has the winery. So when I played it. I'm going to score three points. Mm -hmm. We're going back one step. Okay. First, there are the prerequisites, sure. but you already showed yeah. that you sure. have it. Right, right, so right. you have the right amount of people over there. So no problem. You are allowed to play the cards. Okay. Got so it. now you get the victory points. So I will get three points plus any one, one of these because it doesn't matter since it's yes. my only one. So I'm actually going to get four points and I'm playing black. Uli is playing white and Ash is playing green. Uh, the fourth color is what? Ooh, blue. It's blue. Okay. But you did not allow to play me blue because normally it's my color. But <laughs> oh, it's because no. of the table. He, he, it was <laughs> disallowed. So, but blue, white, <laughs> my team, my teams. Schalke team. So <laughs> at least I have white. So in other words, Uli's <laughs> setting himself up for it to have an excuse if he doesn't Right. Win, right. right. Okay, so, right. So in addition to that, I then also get these. So I will get plus one on there and I will get plus one on there. So a very good move, okay. very good move. Done. And Uli, it is your turn, sir. So now, yeah, so what do I do? This is also a nice move, but I think first I try to grab some cards. Um, and I want to take two cards. Okay. And I take this marker, so I have to pay immediately. It's costly, eight money. Right. So, so, eight here is thank only you. Yep. from here left. Right. Is your option to take any two of those two cards. So, okay. I put them in and it's just a marker for a single hourglass. Okay. So, I, I'm, I'm set over here. And I definitely want this card yeah. here. Because it's um, be to, uh, removing a marker. Use. So, yeah. Yeah. it could be useful. And then any other of the first ones, and I think I want this guy over here. Thank you. Of course. And then immediately the other cards are pushed back and two the new ones Because that's there. the end of your turn, right? Exactly. If, if you had a supplementary action, it still would refill because there's not going to be... Um, well, actually, here's a question for you. If you had something out here that triggered that allowed uh, I could you to take use this one. Card, you I could. could use this one if I have a city over here. Right. I could uh, say, well, let's say I only want to pay seven because it was each, mm -hmm. these two cards, but the marker says eight, I'm only paying seven. So okay. then I can trigger it, but of course I can only do this once a turn. Sure, so I understood. I Got it. Okay, cool. So, and another thing is, if I do not play a card at the end of my turn, I will get one hourglass because the maximum number of cards that you are having is three. So now, right now, I have four cards, one too many. 
Okay, so you have you're you're gonna want. I, to play I should. It Maybe there are other things. One hourglass once it's not too bad, sure. but still, probably I will play a card. Okay. 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 Um, since I know that Uli has to play a card, I'm going to follow Edward's uh, lead and play my card. Yeah, my of course my choices are now more It'll limited. Be a little more costly. Yes. So I'll take this token here and one hourglass there. And so I'll play my Shrine, which I'm already geared yes. up to play. Uh, that'll be three points just for the card and additional for the bonus, so four for me as well. And I'll remove a blocking token. Which is good, and you should re immediately remove slide uh, the okay, slides them you. to that side. Very right. good, very good move. So, thank you. What I'm noticing, granted we're only one round in, is short turns. You know yeah, what there's, I mean? there's so hardly there's any the, downtime right. in this yeah, game. Yeah. Except and if you're new may I mention one thing? Sure. Although I will be third, and I'm already third here in this oh, game. No. Yeah, so, in, in, <laughs> my op in my opinion, Ash's picking of this marker is superior to yours. And this I'm saying from third position, of course. You did not pay any money, but here it's one hourglass less. So sometimes, even in, in my opinion, yeah. of course, yeah. if you yeah. have this money, Paying four and just having and just so, getting one hourglass is probably stronger than this one, depending on your overall situation. Of sure. course, you have more money now, so it, you sure. may say, "Well, what are you saying here?" It, it's totally it. Oh, it depends, but I think again <laughs> from third place here <laughs> that this one is okay. somewhat right. strong. So for me, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to follow. Uli's suggestion, and I'm actually going to go ahead and take another wow, one of these. This is so. Me. This is bad for me. So I'm gonna go ahead, grab that. So we will play it over here. So that's going to cost me three coins to change, and that will cost me one time this time. Then obviously I only have one choice of which card to play. And if you look, the prerequisites: no buildings, and there is a one here, and there is three there. We're good to go. So we will play the marketplace. So now I will score zero points plus either symbol I score will be a total of two points. So I will pay two points out there. Mm, you get two points, right? Okay. Yes, I, I wasn't. Uh, no yeah, worries, no, okay. no worries. And then here during the, in, uh, the decline, uh, decline phase. phase, I will score or I will get two money for every one of these guys that I have. So I'm going to get another six income uh, at so the you, end of this round. So right. you, have, you have started uh, your money machine. Yes. So, so yes. I take every comment back earlier, <laughs> so everything is fine, because the money machine is, the engine is running, so fine. <laughs> Again, you see, six points, four points, zero cool. points. So, so let me, let, let, and this is, because this is a rare chance for us to actually talk to the person behind the game, maybe not the, the uh, designer, but publisher. Where did the uh, artwork inspiration for this come from? This is Harald's uh, choices. So, so he looked it up and, and uh, it should not be, it, it should be consistent. He looked up, because the game is, you, you know, you already noticed, this is not a, yeah, but is this not a simulation? This is a game, but it still is placed 1000 years BC. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's not Roman time. Of course it is already yeah, Rome right. uh, or there are people here in in in, uh, in Italy but still it, it's much earlier. Okay. So it's roughly very roughly in this era. Okay. And if you look a little bit closely at it, uh -huh. you see some of the things. 1000 BC, well, hmm, I'm not that sure. But it, it was fitting and I think the graphic style has to be consistent from board to cards okay. to everything right. else. Makes sense. So, so what you're saying is there of a Bronze Age aesthetic. Kind yes. Of, yeah, makes so where there might be a little bit of anachronistic uh, anachronisms here or there, there whatever, but, but still, it gives you the feel yes. of that. Got it. Okay, so yeah. your turn, sir. My turn and another a nice thing, what you two guys did do is you put a lot of pressure on me. Right. Because y you know yep. uh, I play. Of course, I can wait here a little bit, but maybe Ash is even playing his a other cards. Card. Right. So, and yep. then it, it yep. doesn't get better. So I think I will now play a card and actually for me four and one is pretty costly but still worth it. I, yeah, I try this. How much <laughs> is that one? It's four. Four. Okay. So it's four change. and I take yep. one of the hourglasses here. 
And I'm now allowed to play a card. I should look for it. I did it like this. So my prerequisite is fulfilled, one of these. And here it's even an extra one, so okay. I can play it. But this one is also important. Each time I'm using uh, the tax collector, I get double the amount of money. Just but of course, easy. I have to select this action. Sure. So, okay. All right. So, and I put it over here, okay. and I get one, two victory points. So, uh -oh, I'm not ending up. with zero. <laughs> Yay! Sorry, Robert. Uh, Sorry about that. Uh, um, <laughs> and uh, to give me just a, a couple seconds to stall for time, uh, do you mind telling us the names of the, of the yeah, professors? Yeah, but uh, I, can, I can tell you if I look so them I up. So, oh, okay. so let, let's, uh, let's uh, go uh, from the... No, let's go from here, from, from what is it, left, left, to, right. To, left yep. to right. So we are talking about the scholar. Okay. okay. That makes we are sense. talking about the noble. Oh, okay. We are talking about the merchant. I figured okay. merchant sure. being on your mind. Uh, this, of course, is warrior, the soldier, warrior. warrior. Okay. This is a priest. Yep. Okay. And this is an artisan. Okay. Yep. That totally makes sense. Yeah. All right. Cool. I was I was four for six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so they didn't stall me enough time, <laughs> but I'm but I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, play anyways. So I'm going to take this. Uh, okay. Navigator here. So, okay. Oh, real quick, somebody. So had I'm asked, taking the oh, four ahead, navigator and the two hourglasses, uh -huh. and that's on a trade city, and I'm actually going to make it a hometown here. Right. Uh, actually, right. I'll do that so the camera can see. Okay. There, yeah, you, go. Mm -hmm. there you go. Cool. Um, and so that'll cost me four. There's four. I've already taken the two hourglasses, and right. that's my turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. So real quick, people are asking why I already have these hourglasses. So you start with one, right? Yes. Right. And then my first action required two hourglasses right there, and then my second action required one. So I could have added one more and taken two singles, but I chose to do that. Maybe short-sighted, but it allows me a third no, action. No, no, no. I think so. this is stronger. You are already start player, although yeah. I think that Ash will grab it. Yeah, he might. So, but yeah. maybe he's looking for the money. Okay. So, and you have your money machine yep. anyway there sure. already. So, so um, everything's fine, I think. Okay. Uh, so, okay. So, let's see. I don't necessarily am focused on training. I do like the idea of being able to get out a building. So, I'm looking over here and I'm also looking at uh, the additional actions, reminding myself for the, uh, the oracle, um, I'm sorry, the oracle and the temple, whenever you remove those, um, looking at what that is, long term, it's, it's, not, it's, uh, it's not a huge deal right now, but because I have the money going, I think I will go ahead and take, uh, we're going to go, yeah, this one right here. So you're taking, you're building a temple city. Yes. So and it could, could be either a city over here or a hometown right. here. There's so there I will pay four money for that. Thank you. Oops. And then I will, that's two hourglasses, so it has to be a two. Now, question for you, because I'm sure somebody's going to ask it. Could I, I can't retroactively add an hourglass to a no. tile. Everything that has been placed it, it stays in this okay, way. Cool. So that's what you I cannot do. change this anymore. So, okay. So I've paid for everything. So now I'm going to build a building. So out here, and I'm actually looking at Carthage right here to be able to immediately... Take one, one blocking, one, one marker, or oh wait, no, 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 no it's not a blocking one. marker. Right. You it's get a temple marker, but this is right. this is useful okay. to have. This so, is nice that's right. because if you remove it later, you have one virtual people, one character here, or if you do not spend it immediately, if you have three in right. both then areas, make a permanent, permanent marker. So the, everything's fine. Okay. And of course, if you're building a new city in the yellow area, you get it. Again. again sure so and it's the end of the turn if you do haven't built another city you get it again because it. in each area you, you select one. one city yep. so nice. this is a good move okay. good this good, is a good, good move good. and people are saying that they're really excited after having watched the uh, teach and now seeing everything in action oh yeah saying reading through the rule book they were like eh. I don't know. Yeah. Is, uh, and now they're like, oh, uh, I ne either need to pre-order it or or I should have, yep. depending on location. And, and definitely um, one of the earlier comments is right. 
after reading the rules, rules booklet or after teaching the game, you see, man, there are lots of symbols. There's a lot of information. Actually, How shall I remember everything? But because you are simply doing one at a time, hardly any downtime, and then you see what you can do. And of course, during your first game, you will make lots of mistakes because you see, well, this is not a consistent strategy. Yeah, I won't right. get yeah, any right. of these bonuses. <laughs> uh, so, of, of course. And don't worry, there are people who have played this game 50 times, like me, and have no consistent strategy. <laughs> so don't, don't worry. So you see already here, it's, it's getting downhill from here. Okay, but it's my turn, right? Yep. And yes. Neil, I agree. It's, it's refreshing and it's kind of cool that you guys get a chance to see me learning a game cold and seeing hmm. how we... Cause I, I'm that's true, that's teaching. not really on display yeah, very often. Right. Um, <laughs> and uh, while yeah. Neil's taking his turn, I'll just say the iconography is utterly legible to me. It's completely legible. A circle with a number inside, it's money. Yep. Yes. It's, it's consistent, so easy. and that's the big deal. Even though I screwed up with the cubes, if you look at... Uh, it's a cube with an arrow. With away, an arrow, that means you get to remove. removing the body. Yeah, yeah, so but this, this can have... It wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it may happen during the first game, but sure. a, then uh, yeah, it, it's yeah, second nature. Yeah, yeah. So, um, looking, at my car, uh, looking at my cards, it's definitely useful to train people for me. But looking at you, you have already placed a city, so this is also another option. I could play another card. I have already taken uh, additional cards. I won't do this. Right, because so you have three. I, right I have now, three. Right? This is fine. I think I'm going to train people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because right now it's the cheapest possible way for me. Okay. I actually, what I also um, looked at... Grabbing now the start player uh, pl uh, marker and later do one of these. This is also nice. very strong uh, for me, but again, but it means I've only done in my first turn two actions. Right, could be not enough. Okay. So, but maybe I have some problems with money later. Okay. So, but I don't care. I will train. <laughs> I will train people because now you see that I've only four money left. I get one. Yep. change yep. and this is of course hmm, not really a lot thanks neil appreciate that not he said in uli's a better teacher than i am <laughs> <laughs> no I'm, I'm definitely not so this is uh, so my turn is uh, your, by the way is over is and over. It, it also means that um, during the game it could happen that some people have turns and, and others are already out. And this is exactly so. Uli's time track Check is, is full. So as I'm is out. Mine. So if you Ash will practice, later have two turns at least. Yeah. I, I don't think he will three times use this one. Then it could be three turns. But right. still, okay. So, but I haven't done anything sure, right yeah, now. I, I can train any one of these or train maybe these two. I have to look quickly at my. What is useful? And while Uli's yeah. training, uh, Andy, to answer your question, if you're in the States, the only way to get this that I know of is it's fun again. Fun again. Yes. Okay. All right. Fun again and has the, a game on pre order. The copies are currently on the boat uh, on the way to Fun Again, um, but Spielworks is sold out, correct? Yes, so okay. that's true. Right. There may be, maybe, because I have a, a small safety buffer after okay. all pre-orders are sent out sometimes you have damaged goods or you have some so components right yeah. in early september it may happen the chances are actually not too bad that there is a very very limited of copies appearing again you so i'm, I'm too uh, yeah. yeah so I, I it could be five copies it could be 10 copies okay but i will announce it in advance and not only with 24 hours advance or by the way in 10 minutes there are <laughs> these, uh, so everybody will get a chance okay, cool. uh, to look in into any these. at essen or no no no, and then, no i don't want to essen for me is, is really the worst week in the whole year hmm. it's so stressful yeah. and anything that is done I'm, I'm happy. So, so okay. I, I don't want to handle anything that I Leave do not have to. So, yeah. Understood. Okay. But I still didn't so do anything right. because so I'm so stupid. And no, 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 that's sorry, fine. Sorry. I'm so too... You distracted him enough. Let him take his turn. <laughs> no, this is fine. And I will train this one if I can. No, I'm oh, too stupid. I'm, I'm too stupid. Uh, <laughs> no, I can. I can. I, I, I would say probably okay. within a month or so, Andrew. That's my yeah. guess. Um, yeah. That they'll arrive at fun again. And, and normally, because for four money, I can train one. I train the most costly one. And as I said, 
the, uh, them the one is sliding back to the right. to the to the end but of course this it's one is only at the end okay. right. so nothing is happening i by the way out of everything that you went through in this game i know it probably sounds stupid that's my favorite mechanism is it's, it's I love nice. dynamic it, and is. you move that over. oh my goodness well, actually you move over the highest up to where they come down first right and to where it's constantly changing i really really think that's so do clever. i um, so we both are finished yeah, now so ash, ash has at ahead. least two yep. turns in yep. a row and i fear that he will do something uh, really smart. Oh, Robert I don't and, know Dave about that. and uh, uh, Banker Dave, this is Uli's copy, but of course he's leaving us a copy. So we <laughs> have one in the group, so we're good to go. Yeah. So I'm looking at the card I have and the cards that I expect to have soon. And <clears throat> one, two, three. That's just so pricey. I can't afford to do all of that. But no, uh, but but right, any please, anything please. anything that you do will be useful. Anything is is fine. So I would probably probably recommend maybe taking this. Oh, one I intend to because uh, uh, you cannot stay for the full full game as last, as last player. player. Exactly. So so it, and it's I'm not okay a, if he takes it because that means I'm second. So right. That's, that's so I'm good. going to take the navigator action again. Okay. Here comes four money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here comes a two hour glass. Yes. And here comes a city on an oracle because, as you were saying during the decline phase, I want to make sure that I can activate that. So yes. I'm going to take my one cube onto my oracle, and for my last will be the start player. And, and it gives you, because it's plus before the money, yep. if, if you uh, always, where there is a plus you in get, front of it, yeah. you get the money. But, or, or whether it's a card well, or whatever. Is, exactly, right. you get money. All right, yeah. so, now, now, uh, so now we flip this over. We flip this we over. through the decline phase. Determine and a new starting player. And so high. this is very simple uh, there. And then this is done simultaneously. Everybody is simply redoing his thing. So... All of the one hour glasses are removed. These are removed here, and then these two flip over. Exactly, and then, yeah. and then the action markers are, relinquish. are put back to their spots. Okay, down. so I'm just going to make a little pile right here off camera for my there. And where they are does not matter. No, it doesn't it's matter. Better. It should be just in the colored uh, gotcha. spots okay. there, but it doesn't matter. Oops. Okay. Okay, this has been done, and then if it had been already done, if you had cubes at your home cities or cubes on cards, cards right. which is not possible because nobody has any cards with cubes, they would have been removed yep. at this uh, point. Then, and this is going to happen, this one of course is advanced, and both of you have one city um, here already, and it's easy which one to activate. You are doing the same thing you did before. Yep. And then we at finally we check our limit of hand cards. Zero, one, three. We are all good. Let's assume again to repeat this. If I still have four cards here, I have to take an hourglass and put it in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep. And you all uh, also see Ash has already has only four blocking spots. Yep. But he has two one hour glasses. Right. So I have five and two as and well. So in the second turn, I have the most options uh, yes. right now because. Yep. I have just five spots here, but we will see. Through I'm also good management of your time. Yeah, yes. but I'm third player, so right. again, there's so many options uh, here. Yeah, very clever. Um, <laughs> Andrew says I should I should play Rushford. Uh, next to Uli to learn how to say the German names. We actually joked about that earlier today over uh, over breakfast. Um, that I was like, it was it was an abomination what I was trying to do. It was horrible. Um, yeah, well, lots of uh, consonants in there, so <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. If you have a word with three Fs in a row, what can you say about, <laughs> about the language? What, what can you say? This is German. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, it's, Sir Good. Welcome. Um, it's, yeah. so it's your, it's your turn. Oh, no, oh, no, uh, no, 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 no problem. Your time. Thank <laughs> you. And Thank of you. course, now you can do an additional action exactly. if you want. So at the same time, either before, during, after your turn, okay. whenever you want. Okay. Superb. And um, the additional actions here, I'll remind folks here real quick, see if I can get the glare. The additional actions as a reminder right there for the Oracle and Temple. Um, so both Ash and I 
have uh, Oracle and Temple cubes, respectively, but neither of us have three. So there you go. Uh, by the way, uh, yeah. Edward, did you do this one? Did you take money? Oh, I did not. Because uh, um, you get in the decline so phase. Two, four, six money I should have gotten. Your, mar well. your marketplace yep. generates money. Yes. Six. Oh, was it? Oh, excuse it's me. Sorry. Two per, and he has already per. three so, three of the merchants. There we go, and now we're rolling deep. There we go. So you guys can see. Cool. You, you, you right. see the difference. You have almost your starting money back, 20, and I have four. Right, but you have more actions. actions maybe. So I like and that I can, of course, try to activate this one. Uh, but first, I have to do something yeah. here. Sure. Yep. So I'm going to purchase some cards, and I'm going to take this uh six and one uh hourglass yes so there we go uh here's getting four back one, two three four and so with that six hmm. So while you're thinking, I'm actually looking at cards and seeing how they match up with my technology, with my workers as well. Now, keep in mind oh. that these three have another prerequisite ah, of call, the city. The city. Yeah, right so, right and you are playing green, you have only right now this one. Right this one, of course you can build them, but uh, better remember. Uh, sure, no, yeah, 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 totally. So I want to make sure... Uh, I paid six, so I can take two cards from here down. Actually, or from, from here, here down. down. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, and I'm also trying to uh, balance the workers that I have versus mm -hmm. the workers that I expect to have. So I'll take these two cards. You can't. Oh, excuse me. Because I want this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you can. Of I, course, I you think can. It's called uh, <laughs> starting player. Starting player. Yeah. <laughs> I will take the treasure chamber and the altar. Okay. Yeah. So these slide down. <laughs> and again, Sorry, you're, no, 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 yeah. you're not getting any change. You right. paid six, uh, right. but you only used up uh, five. five. Yeah, well, so you, you, right. you cannot you handle this. Yeah. That that. Let's yeah. assume you would have been here. So in this row, you I could say, well, five. just five if you activate your home uh, town. Right. Anything is possible in the game. Okay. Okay, but it's your turn, Edward. Well... And you have your temple idea. marker, so but you can't play a card because you don't have a card. Sure, right. So that kind of messed up my, my plans a little bit on what I was doing. And so I'm, I'm back to looking at my workers as well as the cards that are available. And this card is awfully expensive right now. Um, that would cost me eight money. Now, granted, I, I, I'm, I have quite a bit, but still that's probably too much plus. It requires one of those, any of them. It doesn't yeah. require all. Again, no. the slashes, right. either or. Um, so you know what I'm thinking? So refresh my memory again for when these trigger. How do you trigger those again? Uh, you once you per, need a first per action. Uh, yes, uh, you need a um, uh, you need the city first here, right. or your hometown right, right, right. here. Then. If you want to use this, you immediately put a cube in the space right. because this hometown can be activated only once per turn, one time during the, uh, the heyday phase. Mm -hmm. And then for this one, you, you select, choose, right. you, you choose this one. So you have, again, you are occupying two spots, but you choose some money. Oh, I got the actions. It's just when it triggered is what yes. I need. So it's any time once during the heyday, you yeah. can, got it. Okay. So actually, I think I am going to train so that it gives me more flexibility with the cards. So since we have money, let's go ahead and take the big one, which is going to be eight money. So we're going to there. That's going to be if you want, just throw some oh, over sure. here. It's going to be eight money. So there along with one uh, time there. So that allows me eight training worth eight being I can train any two, any of them. So right. now I'm looking at the cards and I'm looking at what I have. Now, granted, it has to get back around to me. So I don't want to, I will use my inner monologue 
<laughs> uh, no, but it, yeah, it, to it, try and figure it's out. Pre it's pretty, pretty uh, sure that, that I'm not grabbing cards. Which if Ash, makes maybe, a good point because we both have but four. If, if, we have three, true. and yeah, I have different. hardly any money. So if you see uh, here, I cannot even take any of these. Wow. Because yeah. I have only four money Fair left. Fair point. And this is and where Ash is, is, is money wise experience. also very, very limited right now. Okay. So that. That goes back to that whole playing other people's games once, sure. you, once you get comfortable enough with the game. So with that said, I think I'm going to go ahead and and I'm looking at the cards out here. I think I'm going to train this guy once. So he's going to train once, but I don't move him yet because somebody else is going to move first. Mm -hmm. So I will. Looking here, I'm going to train that one one. And then... You know what? Let's go ahead and get. Uh, While you're thinking, I yeah. want to point out how clever it is on the player board that the the way the people are opposed. You have priests on one side and scholars on the other. They are in direct contradiction. Yeah. Your soldiers and your merchants oh. again are in direct contradiction. Yes. That's, that's your nobility and your craftsmen. Thank you. Because I did not mention, I did not want to give too much information and, oh, here oh, because there's already a lot out but yes this is mm -hmm. the idea be oh, behind I see it. That yeah, hold on like here's it. a it's question actually clever. can you train the same dude yes. twice you yes. can in that yes. case i will i will train him twice uh so he will go to the back of the bus okay uh but you, why in this case uh, uh -huh. get this one back you took, you, the, you took the eight right in this case you take the four yeah because it's uh, good enough. Oh, because for, it's for a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fair no enough. need uh, to, to do this. Uh, okay, so, so you I get will get a discount of four back. That makes sense. One back. Right. Okay, uh, that goes and get one back and there. Good call. Okay, cool. Okay. So it's my turn. And again, you see, I'm, I'm really in, in bad shape here money-wise. I need to do something. I would like to do something that is smart for a change. <laughs> But I'm not certain if I manage to do this. If so, it makes you feel any better, uh, um, the tradition on the show is that whoever is teaching the game loses uh, the game. Loses so, the game. Perfect right. match. <laughs> per perfect match. So what <laughs> I hashtag bad teacher. So right? so yeah, yeah. what I want. No no hashtag good teacher. Right. <laughs> yeah, if you lose your, your old mantra of right. the teacher losing means sure. you did a good you job. You did a good teaching job teaching. Your teaching. Right. So I will I will collect taxes okay. here. I need money, especially because I have the well. So this can be used any time because this is this symbol over yep. here. So I'm taking two of the hourglasses. Let me show folks because yep. I couldn't the, see it. It's so an right infinity here, symbol. it's an infinity symbol, meaning any time you take the tax collector action, you get double the money. So, so I get 16 there you go. because yep. I use two hour markers. So it's so money wise, I'm pretty now, now safe now. Yep. Cool. And for one action for 16 money, talk about effective taxation. Yep. Yeah, well. Uh, I actually have my turn figured out. I'm going to take the training for six. Yes. That will be one hourglass and all six of my money. And for that, uh, thank you, Edward. Uh, I'm going to train the two priests. So yes. one, two. Okay. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm also going to use my hometown bonus. So you so can, sorry, because a, now yeah. this is very smart. Okay. This is very smart because I wanted to change it before. He can or Ash can say, well, I'm using this one because I'm using a green action anyway. So he cannot pick this one because he hasn't picked this option. Right. But he is in the green area, a philosopher. And this means he can train a third person, a third character here. He could even train this one. Three times. three times what he cannot do because he paid only six he cannot train these Something two more because it's seven eight sure but any of Anything these four he yeah. can yeah. and this yeah. is yeah. a very strong option but only done once but right. sure. very good move okay thank you and so what i'm going to do uh is uh, train a merchant mm -hmm. um if, so this one right yep that's right so for for those of you all at home you can see why why i'm doing this uh, I'm clearly building a uh, religious theocracy of the ancient world. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> just, just call me Ramses. Sure, right. right. Um, <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Uh, and that's my turn. Okay. So I'm done. So I'm up. So somebody's pointing out the iconography, the fact that the low number is on the bottom and high 
you know, the one and two mm -hmm. versus here, it's the opposite. The way I yeah. see it is that makes sense because it's working towards the in. center the of the outside of the board. In. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but, but we, we, we talked about this too. Yeah, it, it may seem confusing, but it's, uh, you, you explained exactly the reason for this. And frankly, I, I've not played this game so often. I do not see it if, uh, um, even uh, okay. anymore. But it can happen. So um, if you have any problem, g try to go in the rows uh, over sure. here. Th then you notice uh, okay. what is meant. Cool. But th that was the reasoning behind no, it. No, that makes sense. I mean, again, it makes sense to me. Um, okay, so now that we've trained, so here we go. So we still have no military, which, okay, no big deal. Well, I'm, I'm also a very much a pacifist. Yeah, right. it's, it's a pacifist <laughs> right, game. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, so just now, one is single. So I'm looking here. So what I'm, I'm, I'm looking at is I want cards. So I definitely want a couple of the cards. And the reason I trained that guy twice was to be able to take the port. Again, working on a good money engine so i definitely want this card here because it's going to now give me more money um at the during the uh the, yeah. the decline phase you so. have a nice money machine if you if you are able to play this card a card to get coupled with this one yes. you don't need a, a well so you simply get this money without an action right. this is an action yep uh, choosing was, this this is in the decline process. phase and and you but i'm money. prepared for the next turn later time. maybe let's assume you would have this card too mm -hmm. in the decline phase you can up to five times right spend five $3 times spend three dollars for a point. victory point if you have lots of money also very nice but as you said this card is pretty expensive especially right, right now. now it is any card of course you are picking makes for us this card less expensive Understood. because it slides to the side uh, another that I will look at, uh, I appreciate that excellent job stalling. I'm actually going to take <laughs> no, no, this everything's one. fine. Uh, so I'm gonna, I need six. So I'm looking out here, there are only eights, so that actually gives me the option to hear. So, uh, I also like the fact that all of these have the asterisk symbol, all the ones that I'm looking at here. If you have um, enough money, I'm not sure if, if this is uh, suitable. Well, Pay guess. 10 and take three out of the first four. Three oh, that's cards. That's a fair point. I could I be. I totally forgot about that. Um, you know what? The I just tried to talk to you into this. So. Good, good sell. <laughs> um, you know what? I actually. You know what? No, I'm just going to go with the eight and I'm going to take bad. these two cards. <laughs> so. but, but you're taking oh, this one. Oh, this one, right? With only one. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to cost me eight money so i will get two back and that's also going to cost me one hourglass so now you see i only have one available marker here so keep that in mind for later here two cards a maximum of six money which this one got me eight or uh, uh i paid eight so that's legit that's good to go and that's the end of my turn again i only have one space here so that means I have to take one of these two actions to be able to uh, uh, take my final action. All right, Uli, you're up. Yeah, let's see. Cards, no. I would like to play a card, but first I need to train. And I will train. So in training, unfortunately, is very ex expensive, but I have some money. So I'm picking the final marker here. Okay. I have to pay eight. So Which, no big deal, now that you've gone to the uh, tax collector. Right. right, and in addition, of course, I have to take an hourglass, which I'm doing. So I can now train any two. And I'm actually, this is way too costly, but still, this game is way too pacifist for me. <laughs> so I'm getting two warriors here. Right. So um, to, no problem to do this for me. So this one is slightly Giovanni, back. yes, that's Colin Colony up there. I figure I would highlight other Spielworks games. Uh, now that Uli's done, Ash, you're up. So I moved this uh, over a year. And Uli, uh, people are asking how they can get Spielwerk shirts. 
Um, I'm you, you, you can. You didn't bring one. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> true. That's true. That's why I'm taking some of the heavy cardboard shirts from you. So, um, no, actually, on on my website there is on the right side, but it's German. It says says shirts or whatever. So uh, you should look it up or merchandise. I'm not sure. Okay. So you can order uh, the shirts if you have any trouble because it's in German. Just drop me an email and I will point uh, you, you to that. There are lots of shirts, even with uh, the, most of the covers of my games. Nice, nice. So just to walk you all through what I've done, it pains me to do it, but I had to take the scribe action that's uh, two hourglasses for I no can, money. Yeah, but, but, yeah money. It, 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 but it makes sense. It makes sense. And with that, I built the treasure chamber. I have a noble, I have a merchant, I have at least two, uh, two priests. Right. It scores no points by itself. However, but. the special symbol... Uh, gets me to I I already, already took it. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So okay. that's two more points. Okay. All right. So for me, my options are limited, and the reason they're limited again is because I only have room for one. I would love to be able to play a card, but to be able to play a card, it requires two lo two spots, meaning a single hourglass as well as the tile. Some of the cards allow you to do an action and uh, just take one of these. Oh, so right. they, oh, good to know. Some uh, I pointed this out. Earlier yeah, here, this is civilization. Your, your freeze is an example. Oh, I think. Right, right here. So it, this could be used with just one spot, yep. and this one here as That's well. These point. ones, yes. if you yep. have the hometown, because so it's you're not necessarily limited to these, but yeah, well. So my options are go first and get two money, or go second as it is right now and get four money, and you know what. I'll go ahead and take the start player in two I, money. I prefer this because I'm also a second player again. <laughs> and right. I said right, right, right. So, so good move. There, and everything is right yeah. with the world. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So right. Two bucks, and I am done for the. Second. So I have now two actions remaining. Right. So yeah. in a row. So um, and for a change, I try to do something that is smart. So I'm playing now a card, and I'm playing this one. So I'm, I'm taking this marker, which costs me two money which I have fortunately and I also have to take an hourglass so I can play one of my cards and it's a training round and you see one and that's why I trained yep. earlier the yep. two soldiers here yeah. where I overpaid uh, for them <laughs> so um, first I'm getting one two three victory points yep. here he comes and okay. I'm allowed immediately to remove one of my blocking markers Very nice. I would have liked to have done uh, taken a card that allowed me to blo move one of my blocking markers, but there were none available. So, okay. so I continue playing here. Yeah, um, because Ash and I are both done. Yep. Exactly. Uh, I have ten money left, so it's time to definitely build a city. Go into the city building scene. That was possible, Tim. I just wanted to be able to clear my board because I don't have any of the blocking uh, cubes m removed yet, so I didn't want to leave an hourglass on there that's why I didn't but it was an option yes so when I do a slightly different strategy here I'm not sure if this is good but I first pay four oops I'll make you thank you okay yep. and then I put another hourglass in there or do I please no I take two and my turn is finished all right. So, so are, okay. you, are you guys at home able to follow along now? Is it making sense? So is it too fast? So no, I, no, I no, 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 you're doing four this money, you're doing two single hourglasses. Yep, yep. I could have done it in this way, and yep. I still could take money. Right. But I think this may be better for the next turn. Okay. But of course, I have to place my city, and I go for the red area. For it has to be a temple city, mm -hmm. and I'm going for the victory points. My gut feeling is it's better to take the other bonuses but i want to see i want to try okay. this okay. if right. uh, if this is uh, g good okay. over here so okay so and now we see we all finished take care yeah. nick nick thanks mm -hmm. yep and so now we move into the client uh, phase yeah and we have a new start player again which Thank is you, Edward, <laughs> and now we have to remove all this or uh, redo this. Mm -hmm. So the ones are removed, our glasses, the twos are turned over. I'll show folks my board here. So these get removed, and then the action tiles are placed back to their colored spaces. And there, 
and Ash is also removing from his home city his cube because he may uh, use this again next turn. We have a new turn and we check for an uh, era Yay! change and yes, it's happening. So everybody of us is allowed to remove one of the blocking markers and all of these cards are put into the discard pile, okay. plus the ones who weren't taken. So okay. for, with this action, you have still have access to all these. All those cards. Yes. Okay. This has to be shuffled and then eight new cards from the second era are placed down here. And two you see, oracles. yeah, but this okay. is seven victory points and it is still two symbols. That's you nice. see, yeah. a yeah. lot of these have only one symbol okay. here anymore. So okay. this is a nice card. And you see, as a prerequisite, there are now almost, almost everywhere cities. Yep. And we see we are losing guys mm -hmm. over okay. here. Yeah. So training even becomes more important. Sure. All right. So then after that, we activate cities and civ cards. Yeah. So... Uh, I take another two victory points. Right, and both Ash and I both get another cube. Right, uh, for a our temple for you and yep. an oracle for me. There we go. So you, you should start spending them, but right. of course, uh, everybody who has a symbol on a card here does his action. Exactly. Yep. So my treasure chamber during the decline phase generates five money and Edward's and marketplace. And I get six yep. because yes. of two Yes. three. Oh, we're good. Okay. All right. Oh, here, you guys couldn't see that. So, again, that is getting me six right there. So all those clear, and ah, we have a lot of a lot of availability, available actions, and now we're first. Yeah. Um, and check card limit, everybody's at two, we're good to go. We go into the uh, round three. All right. Um, so I like the idea of being able to play my cards. I only can play one of them. But um, one, sure, uh, go ahead. I don't promise it, but I hope it is the case. That is my last remark here. So neither of us, nobody has so far really focused on these. Oh, so I'm in order to that. okay, in order to do this, you have to be consistent, of course. Mm -hmm. So it's not possible normally to have six cities plus eighteen uh, persons plus eight cards played. So, you so if you if you do path. one, uh, there it's it's good. But you see, all of us have played two cards, so we and. Ash is leading in cities, actually. Okay. People, I have no idea. It looks to me that Edwards has the most, although Ash has also a lot. So, yeah, I'm trailing here a little bit. On the other hand, right now, I have a few more points. So. And you got your two extra points for, for your city during the decline phase, too. And, and what I'm trying, and I'm, I'm uh, simply uh, pointing this out now, I've never tried this, but I've seen it. It did not work, but you sh what you should not have other players do is that one player is occupying all the victory cities. Yes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. here so you're building a point and center. here. Exactly. Because and and they are even divided per region. Let's assume I have all of them. I at the end of each turn I get six victory points. Right. So it's a victory point machine. Quick question on the additional actions here. It says for the temple return one wooden cube and receive a virtual person. Can you Discard multiples? Yes. Okay. So if that's the case, then... Yeah, we will. Um, ah, you know what? I want to play a card out of my hand. However, that kind of negates my advantage for, for start player because I can always play cards from my hand without uh, losing ability of doing some of these things. So what I am going to do, I think, is I'm going to... And I'm looking at the cards. I'm looking at what I have. I will go and take this Oracle, uh, one for four and two time. So that will go there. And let me see. I have four. I have eight. So I am going to take the double time here instead of a one and yes. a one. So that's going to be a total of four money there. That allows me to build one building. It must be on an Oracle location. So one option is I could then get two cubes. Um, right now, and either it's a t and one is a temple, one is an oracle, so a good mixture, a right. good mixture. Or you could hurt me because it could be that I try this. 
Five money, you have a money machine. I'm not sure. sure. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Or you could say, I'm going to other region, maybe to this one. Oh, but you took an Oracle, by the way. So, right, yeah, yeah. So, so you're limited uh, to this one. Yeah, but you yeah. know what? I am a little scared of that idea, so I am going to go ahead and take that and score. So I will score two points and get a new cube into my temple because it refires everything in that same colored region and I'm done. Ooh, yeah, and, and another thing is really it, it's it's like oh. a domino effect. He did. Ash did. He, he uh, oh, yeah, th thanks yeah. guys. I caught okay. up with it okay. as Go I was staring at my tablet. Okay. And um, you, you see this domino effect. Mm -hmm. I'm pr doing this Oh, what is he doing? I'd now do something uh, against yeah, yeah, you. Sure. Although maybe you, you, you wanted to do something else. So you see, this is really, in, in my opinion, at least, of course, I'm biased here. But <laughs> I like this. I like this. So mm -hmm. you are not forced to it, but you see, ooh, well, you, something is happening. Ooh, you, I have to it, be careful. You have to play not only your game, but your opponent's game. Absolutely. Is something well, and the we game lets you do that, too. Yes. The game lets you react. Yep. Yes. Yep. It's Yes, so what, but still, I'm not sure what to do. But let's try it in this way. So I try to buy a card. Uh, so I still have six money left, and six money are going. And I'm taking a single hourglass. So I can now buy cards for six. And I will definitely buy this one. Yep. Okay, so we can sure. two there or just that one up to there. Mm. So it's up to here because the six money. I will buy another card and I will. Ooh, will I buy another card? Let me see. Yeah, I will buy another card and it's this card. Nice, okay. nice. That's a good pick. Yeah, well, the problem with this card is maybe it wasn't a good uh, start because you see, I need two Oracle cities, mm -hmm. and if You're you see right. this, oh, no. I have zero at this so moment. So, and it, but at least I'm. It's this card is out of your reach. Of course, sure. you have this yep. symbol yep. here. Of course, I have to. I should play one of my cards. You know, right. it won't be this card, but I have other options. Sure. Yep, Ash. So. I've been eyeing this hospital for a while now to get that other blocking cube out of the way. And I think, yeah. It's just gas. That's all. That's just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, before I can actually do that, I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to tax. My okay. Okay. My, my, my dear people, uh, I will be taxing them for double uh, on a double uh, hourglass. So that'll be 16 money to me. Right. It's basically the same thing I'm doing via my well. With your, with your but well. the well, I could do it several times uh, in a row. Doesn't make too much sense if you are hoarding money. Sure. And this one is, of course, only done once. once. Unless you're building another city in this row, then, of course, you can say, I'm doing the same thing again. Okay. But, yeah, well. So, because Ash was a team player, uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, I will take this one for eight money and an hourglass. So that will be 10 out, two in, one hourglass there. So that's eight money. So I, sorry, Ash, but you're not getting oh. that puppy. Um, so that I, I'm allowed to buy two up to this point. Those are stores. I already have this. This isn't a terrible idea. So this um, is a good idea. But if you can put the card pretty quickly on the table because it gets your people training machine mm -hmm. into action. That makes sense. Um, I'm looking around the board real quick. I don't like here. I like, I do like the bonus uh, to be able to, since I have the money generation for that, but eh. yeah, And you need another city first for right. this one, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, which yeah. you do not right. have. It's a trading city. Uh, you know what? I will go ahead and get the cart right as well, even though I can't build it right now. Um, I can with that prerequisite, but I don't have enough workers. So I'm just going to go ahead and take those two, which now means I have four in my hand, which there. So you guys can see the cards that are on my tableau as well. There we go. Done. Okay, so I'm using my well, so I have to collect taxes again because I have zero money. Okay. I could still play a card, 
So maybe, is it just a second, maybe, no, I'm not doing it, I'm taking the money, and I'm taking, um, same thing as Ash did, I'm taking 16, and yeah, well, thank you very much. Of course. And if I do it this way, I have five, five, do I want five? Can do it again, maybe, uh, let's see, let's see, I'll do it for a single two hour glass. <laughs> all right, um, I went and... I went to all that trouble of training priests. Thanks, I Kenny. might as well put them to use. Uh, so I'm going to... I'm changing my money before I do this. I'm going to visit the scribe yes. for the two money. So in goes five, out comes mm. three, uh, and one hourglass. Mm. And for that I'm going to build... Uh, yes, let's do that. I'm going to build the altar. Uh, the prerequisite, I have a craftsman, I have three uh, priests. Uh, and an oracle. And an oracle city, thank yep. you. Yes. That's, that's partly why I built that city. Yep. Um, so, I'll take three points for the altar. Plus another two. Two more for the symbol. So you're going to 11. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Turn for it that, to I'll, 11. <laughs> for that, I'll get an additional craftsman. And I get another, uh, or rather, I get one of the... Hourglass only action spaces. Correct. Yes. yes. Right. For card which mission, Yes. Correct. Which, oh, by the way, that turns out to be exactly the thing I want to do. There you go. So for me, you actually took the one tile that I wanted to save me. Uh, but hey, you got buck. those cards that you denied me. So I do. It's so, oh, oh, tip for tap for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and take this puppy. So that's going to cost me my last three money. That's okay though. That's going to cost me one time. All right, so I get to play a card. Well, we're going to go ahead and play the hospital. Wait. Yes, we're going to play the hospital. Hmm. Before I do that, I'm going to remove one of my temple cubes, which yeah. gives me a virtual person, which then gives me in as if he were the third one here to then Very satisfy well. all the... Uh, Very good. All of the prerequisites there. So I will scoot these guys over so you will see. So that's going to immediately score me three, four, five, and six points total. Mm -hmm. So six there. Fourteen. Yep. Then I get one warrior, which is awesome. The reason I say that, the warriors are really, really expensive. And yeah. I wanted to find a way to get a warrior because that I didn't have to pay for because I need it for this. So for this card right here. So I get one warrior. And then, oh, hey, look at that. I get two remove one of those, which now buys me an additional space. I really dig this chaining. Oh, yes, this is right here. So, yeah, so I need to play a card as well, and I have enough money right now. So I take the one that costs the most from the remaining one, but it's a single remaining one with just one yeah, hourglass. If you have the money, spend the money, that's more valuable. Right. Uh, or that's less valuable. The opportunity than time. cost, yeah, which exactly, huh, just like life, it's go a metaphor for life. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, and I'm playing my shipyard. It's not too good, but at least I'm getting rid of three. the over yes. uh, with the hand limit. So I have the three people here. It's a pretty simple one card. One I get just sure. one, two, three victory points. So not a lot. I'm moving from nine to twelve. But again, it's uh, the same symbol you space. have. But I'm getting not an additional one. So here, okay. what, you cannot have everything. <laughs> um, gosh, I wanted to play my other card, but y'all have just made it too costly, I think. Um, so let's see what else is out there. What I'm eyeing are these buildings that generate points during yeah. the decline phase. Um, I don't really have the scholars to go building walls. Apparently, piling rocks are uh, is <laughs> <Yeah>. too difficult <laughs> uh, to figure out. Maybe the granary. Um, and so, uh, just so I understand, I, if, if I were to use this space, I would take the time, um, one, the time token, it. pay four, and then take one of the cards within four. Correct. Yeah, and finally you mark, oh, right. your, mark your spot. So, so uh, yeah. Okay. You know what? I think I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll work towards building that granary. Okay. Very well. Um, so, that was a good move. Thank you. I hope so. Yeah, it was. 
because Ash has activated Edward his, uh, his card. So he was able to use just um, have one marker, which is an hourglass on top here. So that was very well. Oh, nice. Okay, that's clever. Um, all right, so it is my turn. I'm looking at my cards, uh, looking at what I can play. And I love the idea of being able to... Yeah, th this is why I wanted to get this additional marker off of there. Because I have room for three spots now if I want. So what I can do is I can then take one of these free cards because I'm broke right now. I have no money. However, yeah. at the end of the round, during the decline, I'm about to get a ton of money. So I don't care about that. So I'm going to take one of the zero ones. Another option would be, of course, mm -hmm. to take start player. So for you getting two money and you're a start player. So maybe you are looking... No, but, however, however... <laughs> no, you are already start player. You don't do this. No, 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 no. But it, deni <laughs> it denies you guys yeah. the ability. But in addition to that, what it would do is it would give me a double hourglass, which wouldn't clear, which I would prefer to have it clear right now. So I will get two single hourglasses for that ah, one instead. I see, I see. And now I can play a card. So I cannot play the cart right uh, yet. However, oh, hey, what's that? More money, you say. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> so the prerequisite is there must be a temple, which I have uh, multiple, or I have a temple building already out there. I have to have one and two, so we're good to go there. In addition to that, I then am going to score one, two, three, four, five points to 19. Um, and now I'm going to get paid for both of these guys at the end of the round. So it's 10 money that you're getting yeah. without doing, without any, doing action. any action. Without action, exactly. So Not. this is really yep. good. So uh, as I said, I'm heading straight for third place here. <laughs> so <laughs> looks good. So, uh, but I need to buy a city or build a city. Not buy a city, build a city. Um, money I do have. I, th I love this, by the way. So somebody asked the question in chat. And obviously, both between your teaching and our playing through this, the, the other chat people, answered the, the question. chat answered the, it, the guy's question. It, it answered what, how he, I was able to do something. So that well tells done. me that not only, hey, good job, but also that, okay, everything's clear mm -hmm. and we're making it clear for everybody at home. So mission accomplished on this. Awesome. Very well. Right. Very well. So you're up, sir. Um, I will build a city, but I'm not really sure which one. Um, I am sure. I am sure. Oh, it's not nearly as hot as I was worried it would be in here. Mm. It's a little bit warm, um, but it's not as It's not bad. too bad. Because during the day, because this room faces uh, east, we have the, uh, the, the windows in here, and so it beats down through the blinds a little bit. And gets a little bit warm. So I take the Joker marker. <laughs> I pay six money. Oh, please give me five as a Oh, of course. So. There you go. Um, okay, now I can. Um, and I should take some hourglasses. Otherwise, we would be appreciate nice. that you do so, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so. I do it in this way, actually. So to taking have a, a double hourglass. Uh, tap, 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 tap. Maybe I start with m lots of money. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gotcha. Uh, but I, this is a joker marker. I can place anywhere. Anywhere. Right? Any type of city. So or this would be nice here. because it's another victory point machine. Sure. And but as you know, area. yeah. But as you know, I have you this one. I need two oracles. oracle cities. Yep. So, and this one was is. Costing zero, but three ones oh my, already because some of you already picked this one. Probably. I don't. I have no idea. Ash, did you? <laughs> Ash? Uh, let's turn on that tableau cam and see. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and <laughs> let's say this is uh, not possible anymore. So I will go into this one over here. So I move over here, and I'm getting my first. Marker. Oracle marker. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Ash? All right. So I, I get to interact with chat because I'm done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also almost done. Yeah, you see yeah. four spots there. Already you started. Yes. So afterwards, yeah, 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 it's yeah. just yeah. probably one more. Um, I see that Uli has one time space left. So I'm actually going to ensure 
Too that bad. I Too get bad. The first, yeah. first Too bad. <laughs> Inst I pointed to this one, but uh, <laughs> now I'm taking it. But I, I would have taken this one I for, for might, sure. I thought you might be going that way. So He's shooting daggers at you. That's awesome. Uh, Too bad here. You, yeah, look at that. I mean. No, uh, Uli did not bring. So that's my turn. Copy of a San, of Sands of Time. Um, no, however, I did. the other one you did bring. I bring. Uh, I brought uh, Kalimala b yep. from uh, Blackfire, which has an outstanding market. Right, which we're going to be playing off camera after this later, or this <laughs> evening, I should say. So I'm now. I'm having just one left here. Okay. I could take this one, or oh, I could use right. this yes, one. Yes, yes, yes. And what, what, what Uli's talking about is he has uh, an available action that only gives him one time. Yeah, but okay. I have already three cards here. So right. picking more cards is not a good option right, right. now. Right. So actually I'm using this one, but just for this one. One hourglass, but still times two, eight. it's eight money. Yeah. Okay. So I'm done now as well. And Ash, you have three Thank you. available uh, on your time track. Right. So, so or right. action track. And I'm going to put these to full effect, I hope. And let's take one of the navigator tokens. Let's see. I think it will be, yes, it will be the trade city navigator. So that'll be four money. Um, and let's build a city. I'm going to take time tokens. I might do the Uli trick and put down just two one tokens. But first I want to decide where, where this is going. No, Andy, that uh, when you take the start player marker, there's no hourglasses on it. It's just the marker. These yes. two actions out here are only the marker. There's no time. So right. when you only have space for one marker, that's where uh, those are your mm -hmm. options. Unless you have another one that's on your card that would only be a time and not an action marker. Right. I'm trying to solve for you. No, no. As much as I want to build a city in Syracuse to get that money and the additional cube, I think that it behooves me to build a city in Miletus instead. Yeah. So two points for green. Too bad for me, but um, I understand. <laughs> and I think that, yeah, uh, I'll do the Uli trick and just lay down two single there hourglasses. We and we are, we're done. We're done. And we have a new starting player again. Uh, so yep. this so is... it goes back to, to I, I, is, if it, I'm not going to have it, I want Ash to have it. No offense. <laughs> okay. Uli. Thank you very uh, much. But I understand. <laughs> So now we have to again yeah, uh, do here. this trick. He has a cleanup there, stuff. There, so. there, there. Yeah. This one flips. And Andy, to answer your question, uh, the first player marker does not carry an hourglass with it. Oh, it's I just. Him over. Oh, sorry. No worries. No worries. So we Don't put mean these. To steal your no, no. Oh, hey, there's an a there's an <laughs> Asher sighting. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Say hi. Mm. Hey. What? You just woke yeah. up from a nap. Huh? <laughs> Alright, so we'll put so, these out here. Um, yeah, and we also remove the wooden cubes from Cards Ash, for yeah, example, and from your home city. Yep. So Ash is very uh, good with using the extras there yep. and there. And we move this yep. one over and to the next one. we activate our cities as well, right? Right. right. Cards yep. and cities. Cards um, oh, yeah. is uh, cool. twice here. Okay. I cool. think cool. we both have no cards that are activated now, but we are getting the bonuses here. So you're getting so, the money there. Yep. So, so I get a treasure chamber here, and then I'll get two points for my... And points. I'm getting and also be... two victory points oh, uh, actually, here, okay. so and I'm getting one more. And I'm getting the exact same thing that Uli's getting, which is two points. Actually, we're all yeah, no, we're no, all no. the same. Uh, yeah, but you get either, oh, either know, because oh, yes, 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 yes. two colored, two colored, you're in the same region. Yes, yes. Um, so in that case, because I already have three here, I'm just going to go ahead and take my two points and, and be happy with that. Um, then I still got to get my money, so I'm looking at two for each of these, which is going to be six. Two for each of these, which is going to be four, which, which is, is a, a total of ten money. Nice. Right. right. And we are within our hand limit, yep. so no problem there. We already we moved this uh, to the next turn. And it's, uh, right. we, we played 
through 50% of the game. Yeah. It's normally not a game where you play three hours. No, Everything no, it, is pretty boof, yeah. boof, boof. And everybody knows uh, who's experienced watching the streams, this always adds about an hour, hour and a half because we're talking about yeah. our moves and everything right. else. Whereas I can see how quickly this could move if we're if we were off camera. If we were to oh, turn sure. around and play this right afterwards. Oh, if we were not narrating our turns, yeah. yeah. If we could devote all of our talking to just uh, razzing each yeah, other. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm building the incense depot. I have three, uh, three, three priests good. and a merchant. Uh, that'll be two points for it and three additional. So five so points five, for that, please. Five for you are green. Green, you thank you. Okay. 20 points. Um, I'll take my additional merchant. And uh, Edward, while you go, I'm going to use one of my oracle tokens to reshuffle some of my workers here. Okay, um, cool. And uh, that's two... Two shuffles right. that I'll be getting here. So, so there's there, that. There, there, and there's eight. That. I really don't want to spend. Okay, so what I'm looking at is I really would like to be able to build a building. So you know what? I, I am going to. Um, so I'm looking for the single hourglass ones. So there are just these two right here. So I will take the lower value. So I will take the three value one. Put that there. So that'll be three money. And one time, and I'm going to go ahead and play the freeze. 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 Okay. Um, so we have no prerequisites. We have the artisan, we have the warrior, and we have the uh, theologian or the, the scholar. So we're good to go there. So that will come out. Uh, that's going to score me one. Two, three, four, five, six for that star wow. symbol. So oh that's this six is money. nice. That is not a coincidence, fellas. Uh, so that's twenty-seven, and then it gives me the available action, the right here to be able to train, correct, with just a time and two money, as opposed to uh, uh, having to take the time. The action time. However, yeah. with the two money means I can only train from here down one guy but one guy. it doesn't take me but may tile. maybe later if you have a city over here a hometown mm -hmm. here you can say train. well it's just you cannot uh, have more right. uh, in, in money two but them. two of them yes. so if you co yeah. are able to couple this so, so or to to connect these actions that's very strong and you see i need to do something smart for a change and i need more people that's for sure that's for sure. Uh, Andrew, uh, how about at the end of the game, um, we'll, uh, I'll touch base with Uli about that, and uh, yeah, and we'll go there. So ask that again at the end about Kalimala at the end of the game, and we'll go over that. Cool? Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's still my turn. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm trying to do something useful, and I'm not really doing well in this regard. But... For I take this marker over here, mm -hmm. so I train for six money, which I do have, and a single hour marker. And I want to train two of these, because nice. it's six and I train mm -hmm. twice. Yeah, about not too happy about this but well what can I do your turn all right um, and I think that I think it's in my best interest to steer hard into my strategy so I'm just going to do it uh, I'm going to take the navigator action again as she's into city. building the city so I, know, so I think that's what I have to do so I'll pay four and uh, let's see Yep, I'm going to build Syracuse. And so uh, that'll get me the five money for Syracuse and uh, an Oracle Cube uh, for, for Delphi. Right. And I think Back up. Back up. Mm, we're still pretty early. Back up. I think I can afford to take a double hourglass. Okay, yeah. so I'm done. Because at the end of this turn, everybody um, from uh, each of us is uh, removing one, one of the blocking one anyway. So, yeah. So. I'm looking at my, I have, I essentially, while you guys were taking your turns, I essentially have two options for what it is I want to do. I can either play a card, 
here, and even though I don't have enough, I can use all of my temple cubes here to get me enough. However, it only is going to score me nine points, which I would like to do better, but I am enjoying being able to play cards out here. Now, the other decision I have to make is, do I play this right now, or do I go ahead and take more cards? Because as a, as a second uh, epic or a second um, era, that these are going to be more expensive and get prohibitively harder to play. And I right now have five, assuming I play this will be six. To be able to get that, I need two more. Maybe I only get one of the era three cards and then I focus on getting another one of these. I think that's kind of what I like to do. Yeah, and of course you can also uh, use the other part to of go, the to action go digging, to, which I actually uh, which thought about. And uh, which is also possible. And I yep. think uh, what we are seeing here is Ash is very good with cities. So uh, you are very good with cards. The only one on the table who has no clear strategy <laughs> is, is me. And uh, even now I'm, I'm trailing behind. So something is really wrong here. So, but I think, yeah, the card strategy is, is good for you. And if we now want to go into first place with cities, very difficult because two to four, if it's just one yeah, yeah, city one, different, right, we can still catch, catch up. up. But right. right now, very difficult. So, what I'm looking at card-wise out here is that one is doable, but that's awfully expensive and I only have seven money, so let's write that one off. This one, however, I am only one away, so I like that, so I am going to go ahead and take some cards. So I'm thinking two of these for seven, so it means I will take the eight and a single time. Ah, you, you I don't have, have you have, have just seven short. so have. i will take the six which then means i can't take that card you can but it's your only it's your single card ah uh, fair point um you know what that's not the end of the world i will do that right uh, but man that's expensive isn't it um six bucks to take one card whereas you know what i will go ahead and instead i will go hmm Mm. You now explained to us which card you want to take. Right. You can't really expect that it will be on the table you know, when it's your maybe, next turn. Or maybe, I, maybe it's a ruse. <laughs> maybe, yes. Uh, so instead... Nope, I'm just going to go ahead and pay the six bucks and do that. Okay. Right. So... So you're a little bit afraid. I yeah. uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> you see the game starting here with Uli. Uh, so that's one time there I get to take up to six. So I could take two cards back this way if I wish. Yes. So the interesting thing is I would need another building to be able to do that for the lighthouse. But you know what? I will just go ahead and take the estate instead and stay on target. Yeah. So I will take that one. We will slide these down. Griefville and Uli. And then yeah, turn, it's so. my turn. And let's see. Nice, Andrew. I appreciate that, that he's trying to thematically understand the seismic shift in Ash's sieve. He had a military coup, but what did they destroy? Oh my gosh, take power? The, the narrative going on here, I started out heavy in religion, <laughs> and then suddenly that's changed now, and we're suddenly becoming a mercantile society or something? <laughs> yeah. oh, I, I, I love the, the kind of emergent narrative going right. on here, the dichotomy between priests and scholars. Uh, it's very nice. Right. Welcome, so, Shingo. So I take uh, this marker. I want to play a card. Mm -hmm. So I pay four. And now again, I'm a little bit with money. I have only four left. But the good thing is it's just a single hourglass. Mm -hmm. And I can play a card. And I will play Irrigation. And you see, I, I have the... The temple. I have yep. the temple, but I do not have enough people. I trained these, uh -huh. but this one is missing. So shift. now I have to shift here between uh, others. So I'm getting one Plus additional one, one yeah. and I'm losing... Mm, I really don't want this. I'm losing this one. So it goes back to zero. Nice. Okay, and now I'm getting some victory points, not too many. It's five, 
six, seven. Okay. But at least it's something. It's twenty one. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, um, you know, anytime I can now, I can <laughs> anytime <laughs> I can uh, determine the costs here. Oh, very nice. I like that. Okay. When the mercantile and military starts merging, it's usually bad news, initially for the neighbors. <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 that yeah. sounds about right. Um, so what are you thinking, Ash? Well, what I'm thinking is I want to play this card, and I've done everything I need to to play it, um, but golly, two hourglass tokens is expensive. It is. Um, but but c'est la vie. Um, I'm going to take the scribe action with two hourglasses and build and my granary. All right. Um, so uh, the prerequisites, a trading city, um, all the workers I have. I don't have two merchants, but my incense uh, depot has an, an infinite virtual merchant. Yes. Uh, so, so you're only one short, and that makes up and the, that makes the other. Uh, it's only three points, uh, which is fine. It expends a merchant, but uh, during every decline phase, I'll be getting three more points. Actually, it's and four it, points. Yeah, we, the with this one. At the top. Oh, so the symbol right for the so it's yep. four the points. Yep. Just but, and it, it, right, it does. Right. It just it doesn't trigger any of the others because no you don't have them. Um, right. But one final thing, I'm not sure if you already did this. Below the victory point symbol, you are losing one. I of lose these. one of my merchants. Uh, yeah, okay. 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 But. I've, I've collected all of these oracle symbols. I might as well use them to get to bring to get one back. Yeah. So there fine. You yeah. There you go. Well done. Thank you. Um, so for me, uh, what I'm wanting to do is looking at my cards here. So I am short one of the. Uh, what is the one on the top left? What is he? Um, uh, oh, um, that's the noble. Oh, there you go. Right. I am yeah. short one noble. Fancy for beans. this card, mm -hmm. right? Um, and I am short two on the worker here, the artisan, whereas I have everything else for all the others. And so I'm looking, so those are the two options I have for training. So I'm definitely going to train. However, I only have one here. However, yep, and because I have all that space, I am going to go ahead and go here. I will go ahead and take eight money using that. So unfortunately, I had to quote unquote waste in action. So that's two hourglasses, but that's okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to keep them sim uh, singles, and I still have room there to be able to train. Done. So, okay. So I have four money left, and I will spend all of it. So I'm uh, nice. building another Oracle City, so... Oh, Alexander no Fister money. is uh, out there. Hey. Alex. Hello, Alex. All right. <laughs> uh, met him at uh, Essen last year, so... He says, uh, "Great game." Um, and Marley, agreed. And a great, well. and a great designer. Seriously, so, uh, so, yeah, right. so you know his um, his uh, history in games from simple to complex uh -huh. is, is astonishing. And so. high energy. That dude went from. I watched Alexander <laughs> at Essen go from really doing a, beautiful like, meet and greet for thirty minutes sign a bunch of stuff, go to an interview, go to an interview, then came to my interview, and still was a bundle of wow. energy. So really appreciate that, and well done. He said that was, uh, he has a lot of fun. He only goes for a day or two at Essen. And Which is smart. It is. You don't want to be there for four days. <laughs> it's uh, it's my opinion. It's exhausting. <laughs> so I, 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 I had to take two hourglasses, which I take with a single tile. So, and I can place an Oracle City, and there aren't that many left. Here I can activate this one. Here I can activate this one. Beverly says, Ash, oh. your fangirl is here. You Thanks. can start winning yeah. now. So, uh, you have thank you, female I'm... fans, so this yeah. is so, uh, wow. This is really is pretty. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true, that's true. <laughs> really, that's I have true. to thank Edward. Without, without cameras, there's no fans. So. <laughs> So um, I placed it here, and uh -huh. I'm getting a cube, which right. is going... Oh, that's here. cute. Nice it's your done. second one. Well done. Well, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> what I did not mention, at the end, whoever has exactly two here is a winner. <laughs> Everything else does not matter. So, so I was... A little special scoring for you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I have only a single space left here. Yep, okay. But still, in yeah. theory, you I could, could do something, but you see... 
you 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 seem to have a distinct lack of cash. So you know. Yep. <laughs> or mm. right? Could be. Yeah. Right. What did I I vaguely remember something. It was if you were consistently last, you're going to struggle to be... Uh, but I wasn't consistently last. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, really, what, what I'm worried about your strategy. Ash is, uh, can be first in cards, mm -hmm. and he pretty much sure is first in cities. Well, he won't be first in cards, because yeah. he's two behind. He, we both have five cards right now. Yeah. However, he has, he has none in his hand, and I have two in my hand, and I'm set up. How many spaces do you have uh, open? So I'll be able to train one, uh, for what Very I need, well. and then Very get ready well. for the third Very well. era. So I'm going to take the Philosopher action and train. So that'll be one hourglass. Uh, this okay. will cost me four. And with my four, thank you. Yes, that's what I was also going to do. I will also be doing my bonus training action. Uh, so I'll be training. Hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing the power of this stuff. I've, I've ignored it kind of this game, but I definitely can see that. I always, whenever I want to place one of these, I, I thought about it. Then I did something else. <laughs> I don't think, which I tried here, this is a smart strategy. If the others pay, uh, pay attention, you need basically to make this engine run at least two of them. Mm -hmm. right, at least right. two of them. And you see this power over here is, mm -hmm. is, is strong. Training an additional one or having another marker with four and just taking the hourglass here. Mm -hmm. So, But I still have three options. So Sure. So I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. I spent four. I can train one scholar and then one of these additional. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, which I will do. I'll train a scholar and a... Hmm, yeah, a nobleman, and for my bonus, uh, I'll go ahead and trade a no another nobleman. Uh, you paid how much? I paid four. Four, and you trained these two? Uh, yes. No, that's And then you, uh, then you trained the third one? Oh. And then it's and five. Be one one then it would be one more. more okay. So you would, have to, you, would have to, you would have to take that one because you're limited to four. And so you cannot go higher than this one to train. So to this train one is two, out. And then I when you, you do the third, you, you can still got it. pick one of these for okay, for right. an additional training. I'm sorry. No worries. No, you're fine. Uh, hold on. If seriously, there's been very few by way of, oh yeah, that's right. I can't or whatever in this. So that's very few guys. Uh, yeah. Next game. Yeah. Uh, no, next yeah. game. Everybody yeah. knows about this. Of course, sometimes so, yeah. you, you you miscalculate once it, you take it back. No, yeah. no big deal. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so for uh, for this, I've paid eight, and I think. Now you can do exactly what you planned on doing because the eight, you could do any two trains plus the one additional right there that gives you any one of those as well. Right. And so for that, um, I think I'll go ahead and take two scholars and then the one merchant or the one nobleman that I already took. So, so we that's have to these two. They come out, and I assume that they keep their relevant. No, they do not. The more they expensive. Not. We, at least uh, I explained it this way right now, and I did not look it up. So, okay. uh, but we play played now in this way. It's fine. But it's everybody easy. should look this up. It's okay. in, it's it's clearly explained. But I okay. was too lazy. It happens. You're on vacation. Too. <laughs> All right. I almost. Oh, you almost got onto the. Board. Oh man. Almost. If for you, taking that. If you had taken him. It would have been. So for my last action, well, now I wish I had. we're going to <laughs> actually you made it cheaper too. So I appreciate that. So we're going to take the four money one. So that's going to be there and take the one and one time there. So that allows me four limit on the training, which I just want to train this dude twice. So that's perfect. Cool. So he's going to move yes. over and we're going to train him twice, so we got there. So now we are all set. We are still short one, but we can use a virtual it's worker very nice. here to be able to get both these cards out. That's seven, and that's one away. Yeah. yeah. So for again for that guy right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's absolutely true. You see, my options are really limited. Yep. Uh, uh, I can be a start player choose. or <laughs> this, and I really uh, want to be the start player. So you take two money. Two money, which is not a lot, but at least it's um, something. Yeah. And that triggers the end of the round because we yep. are all done. We go into the decline phase, which is yes. The term new so start new start player first. Yeah, oh, it's sorry, me George. for the first there time. There you go. And then we try to uh, clean this up. Yep. So now all that is coming off because they're all single times. 
Yeah, not with me, so... Oh, man, I'm sorry. Ooh. Hey, yeah, well, I know, I know. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> it's so horrible being here. <laughs> um, okay, so we uh, exactly, Thank we you. remove uh, all these you markers. You only have to tell me twice. <laughs> no, 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 everything's fine. But everybody is allowed to remove one yep, blocking so marker, so we have even more is. space. In here, and now we trigger the effects of one yep. city per colored region mm -hmm. plus any cards yep. that are now in the decline. So phase. I still have my two options here. I'm just going to go ahead and take two points, please, for black. Okay. Uh, as will I. Uh, I'll take two points here and I'll go ahead and take five money. For okay, side. so I take two points here as well. I take an oracle marker there and, and another oracle marker. For that. So I should. There you go. I should use them use now. Use them, right? And now we uh, use the actions of our cards, which uh, done. For me, mm -hmm. I will go ahead and take my same ten money for those two yeah. based on those two. Yeah, and there Ash gets five I'll money. I'll take five money for the treasure chamber there and three points for the granary. Yes. Exactly. And now all the age two cards are now in the city to be able to take that yeah. action. Okay. Yeah. Which there was one card I wanted there, mm -hmm. and it's now cheaper for being fished out of the discard. Yeah, then you can because it was up on one of the high yeah, value, whereas that that's temple. only six bucks. Exactly. That's cool. That makes sense. But let me. Think about it when I see the cards. You know, of all the one, uh, great wonders of the ancient world, this is the one that I most wanted to see as it right. is the Hanging right. Gardens of Babylon. That would have been really, really cool. So now give us a second to take a look. Oh my, 18 point. But and you see in the third era, there are no cards remaining which have any bonus rows here. Okay. So there are no, no cards have any markers here. No more triggering. So you can just okay. look at these, but if you have 18, it's nice. <laughs> but look at this. You yeah, need a full, really hard. you need all 18 people. Oh here. yeah, because, yep. Yeah, Unless six, you have six, some yeah. virtual ones. Right. Or you can virtually, with the Oracle and Temple marker, or term, um, permanently add something and afterwards you're losing to but still mm, 18, 18 points. points i mean mm. the track only goes to 49 yeah well you fit. see no no i understand that i'm just saying when 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 that is the track that should tell you that is a metric crap ton of points, of points. exactly so, it's really, nice yeah honor, sir. yeah i let me see um i will play something just what I have this, I have this. So first I remove, oh, before okay. I do the action, three of my markers here mm -hmm. to get permanently one of these guys. Okay. okay. So then I will play a card, which means I will take they're there in order now for those. Okay, so I take easier. this one for seems two kind of money. Seems kind of nice. selfish, Yuli. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> a stop player. So <laughs> it's a little, yay. And, uh, okay. Oh, you got your one time already. Sorry. No, no, no. no. I, I, this is oh, from, last from last turn. So, so thank you. Yep. Um, and then I play this card, which is doable because one, three. Yep. So yep. doable. I get two victory points, and then I will pick so, this row, two, three, four, five. Yep. So it's five points. So Not enough. Closer. Then I get another soldier warrior, uh -huh. and I now can train always. Uh, the plus one. That's really, really this nice. One. Exactly. Yep. So if right. I, yeah, let's see. Mm. Thanks, Alexander. So is it Alexander or Alex? Do you do you have a preference? I always ask because people a lot of times assume and I prefer Edward as opposed to Ed. So thanks. So hi Ed. So. <laughs> <laughs> we, we haven't done the interview yet. <laughs> okay. I understand. I understand. <laughs> so I'm taking the uh, Oh, you know what? No, because you haven't told us. No. Um, I'm taking the, uh, gosh, what is it called? The Chronicler, um, no, the Scribe. Uh, the Scribe action to take cards. Um, I paid six. I definitely want the Hanging Gardens. And 
for oh, two, they're beautiful. I can reach up you? here. And yeah. if, you, if you can stay within four, this, of course, is also a very nice option. Right. Because and then you have one space more if you can work with just four. So you have to think about mm. this. That's a good point. Meaning you can take these two cards. Yeah, I mean, that's the... And you have somewhat more money, but looking at your pile of money, it, it's not <laughs> your it's not your major uh, yeah, major. Yeah, the, uh, the limiter. Yeah. Um, Roger that. Okay, Alex, it is then. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's a gosh. <laughs> because I'm careful. Seeing, he's he's trappy like that. He's oh, a I know. tricky one. He is a tricky one. <laughs> Um, <laughs> right. Let's move these, and I want to have both of them in exactly, one move. Yeah. Yay! Um, On the other hand, I have not even any right, money. Right. So. <laughs> um, I think I'll stick with my original plan because I'm well positioned uh, to build the observatory as well. So I'll take the hanging gardens and the observatory as my two cards. Okay. Well, that kind of changes things on what I was looking at, but. I'm not going to worry about those right now because since I have two cards in my hand already, I'm thinking, you know what, I just want to focus on getting those out first. So that's what I'm going to do. So since, uh, you know, I have three, six, nine, I have ten spots, but you know what, it's still worth it. I will take the single time for three money. So there, so three money and a single time. And that'll allow me to play a card. So I'm going to play the cart, right? So I need three. Uh, I have uh, that building. I have the temple. So we're good there. I need three, two, two, and I'm one short. So there it is. There's the temporary one. So this comes out. That's going to be, yeah, you guys can still see that. That is going to be a total of six plus seven, eight, nine points. Now for that. So up to 38, and in addition, I now get the one that uh, Ash stole from me, which is now <laughs> going to help for this one that I was one short on for next turn. So I will get plus one worker there and plus one worker here, which is then going to feed me two more money at the end of this turn. And, and, and you, you see what you, um, when you briefly look at the cards on the table, what you did really well, Edward, is that you played lots of cards which give you additional people. So you do not have to train as much. Exactly. So yep. if I see it, uh, you have five additional ones by cards. Yep. Uh, Ash has one and I have one. So the, the difference is enormous oh here. My, yes. Of course, uh, uh, there are other things involved. There's different but strategies. To, right, stay yeah, consistent yeah, with it. And that's very that's well done. So, for. Yeah, very well done. Thank so you. now let's see that I play consistently bad and don't do something and else. And I think the answer is yes on that, Shingo. Completely language independent. Um, yeah. I think so. Outside of the flavor text of the actual locations. Mm -hmm. um, yes, there yeah. is There is nothing here at all. Was that a conscious decision yes. on your part? It was? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Of course, um, it's, Evening, not, Tony. it's not as necessary that I license games. When I'm able to sell a, a thousand copies in, in this regard, I'm absolutely happy. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. Perfect. I'm really happy. But of course, it makes licensing easier sure. afterwards oh, sure. in yeah. other uh, languages. So if it's possible, yeah, then we try to do okay. it. Of course, ori uh, the original prototype had some text, normal, standard, but we could basically uh, remove it. You developed it, it out, yeah. I imagine. Right. Okay. Yeah. Your honor. So may I still, uh, let me see. Well, in something like the Colossus, you know. Uh, you kind of know that's the Colossus of Rhodes. Yeah. Right. By the way, I saw where, in theory, the bases were of him when I was in a Marine Corps. And oh, really? Visited Rhodes. That was that was pretty cool. And I've always been big on Greek and Antiquity, Roman sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, history. So yeah. So I take another. Um, I text another time. I so for that. sixteen, because yep. I have nothing left here. Right. So I need the money. Thank you very much. Of course, you've used that well to great effect. That's that's impressive. Yeah. Well, let's see. Oh, this well, one is let's not. See. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, That's I, exactly it, Skywolf, uh, 100%. Yeah, to where when you teach, you're usually so worried about watching other players, making sure that they're doing things right, not like rule stickler, but to help them along and make sure yeah. that they enjoy the game. 
Um, and I think that's standard across this hobby for the most part. Yeah. Of course, of that course. That's going to be the case. So, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and train. Uh, I'll take the four and one uh, token. Let's pay four, so that's six and, back. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, I am using my free space. So, uh, let's see if I can do this correctly now. I'm going to train two warriors. Yes. One, two. And I'm going to, for my additional uh, train, let's see, what do I need here? However, for, hold on. For, hold for on. four, Remember, you can only you train only... another soldier or, or the merchant. merchant. Gotcha. Do you, do you understand mm. why? I do, yeah, okay. because right, of the cost. Cool. Right, exactly. Mm. That's... For four, you can train any single one and right. then have an additional one, so any right. one. So right. it's two, one less, but mm -hmm. still you have the full... Uh, Complement of, of uh, options. Yes. yes. Yep. That's, a, that's a very good point. Um, because really, I need to make use of this, this. You know, I spent all of that opportunity cost. I think it's, uh, you, you used it already the third time, and it's yep. only the fifth turn. So, so it's really efficient. very yeah. efficient, very efficient. Which, in being German, appreciates efficiency. Uh, I, I should hope so. You know, <laughs> one, one does try. Uh, so for that, I'm instead going to train a craftsman and... Yeah. Um, since I can train any of them, um, three, two, three, One, yep, one. that'll be a scholar. Okay. So, but you have to still re, um, um right. I, I, so yeah. I trained a craftsman and my free one was a scholar. And so there you go. Yep. No, you had it right. Okay. Right. The more expensive goes first, at least how gotcha. we're playing it and to keep yeah. it consistent. To, well, and that makes it more dynamic. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I it think does. it's correct, it but it, but maybe it's different. So I'm, I'm not sure. You have still four left. That's a lot too. I I have what well, actions? I have two, four, six, eight left. Eight on the track. Um, all right. So we are going to now build the estate. So we will go ahead and spend four money and one time. There. So four money, getting six back. And nice. one time nice. there. Wow. Yeah. So we are now going to build that. And that's a little here. We'll, we'll put it here uh, to show you guys. So we have two of the merchant. I'm sorry, two of the uh, nobles. One here. We have three here. And we have one. So we're good to go. We qualify for all of oh, that. That's so lots good. of points. So we're going to be lots seven for here. And then we're going to look at, we're going to take that one. So seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 points. 49. Okay. Oh, Almost awesome. there. All right. Um, and that concludes the turn of the black player. Well done. Thank you. How and many cards that do you also have? is seven cards. Yep. So it's almost I there. am one away from this, which now should demotivate the both of them. So now in theory, this is me, what I'm By the way, inside. sure. By the way, why is this table so heavy? I want to flip it now, right now. Can, can, can uh, I flip it now? So, I, well, what that <laughs> or what it's worth, in, uh, in this house and, in, and on the stream, this is how we say, we say that we want to flip the table. Yeah, ah, uh, okay. basically this is a very uh, polite way of saying to go, go fornicate fly yeah, with yourself. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and so we say glory to Rome. <laughs> okay. um, but no, the reason I did that, mm -hmm. now I could have picked up another card out here, but my thinking was seven puts me on the cusp of getting that. Yeah. So now I'm looking at Ash who has five and two in his hand. Uli has five and only one mm. of his hand, so they might not focus on playing a card, which allows me to then spend some time going out here yes. because neither of you have your eighth card in hand, so I don't even. It gives need you to a little breathing space. Exactly. Uh, said the hare to the tortoise. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is nice, but also not that nice. And, and it's pretty funny that uh, Tony uh, Cockbongo, he said that. Uh, 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 talking to Alexander Fister, he said, I got absolutely thrashed at a game of Great Western Trail this uh, this afternoon. So thanks for that. I don't blame you, obviously. <laughs> Much. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I picked this tile here for six. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. And six I pay. And then I need another of the hourglasses. Mm -hmm. And I can now train... This guy, the noble, twice, but you see, I can train it three times. Time. Nice. And I will d actually do this. So well, I have done. Three. well done. 
And with that, you're very close to getting all of your people trained. Yeah, yeah. I need to do something at least. And, and I, well, I still, it's such a simple thing, but that is such a clever action of just the, the yeah. way that when you use them, they go to the back of the line. Yeah, on the other hand, Edward, you, you're not, you didn't use it too often because you did not I mean, need, need it. To. Because right. there are only three markers here yeah. in a three-player game. Exactly. So, so everything is, is tight, but still you have always one other option. It's yeah. not, you do this move for us as the turn is over because right. we are dead. So, right. Because basically, apart from this, all information is open. Right. So yeah, otherwise well, even, you could simply say, well, okay, no, right. you're and not doing on top anything. Of that, the, the, if you have uh, the type of memory that you remember what cards people... But then you know everything. Right, right. right. So, uh, You build right, another yeah, city. I, I built, yes. Uh, as Uli was practically rolling his eyes, I built another city. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryan Courtney, uh, designer of Pipeline, oh, which nice. is coming out from Capstone next year, is just busting on me, as, as he is wont to do. So, <laughs> it was you, actually as winning as well, a right? game, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so on my turn, I have, I, I want to possibly get a card, um, maybe build another, another building to be able to, well, eh. Well, you know what, actually? I think I will build a building. Um, well, hold on. The problem with that, if I do, is I only have eight money. So why don't I go ahead and look at maybe picking up a card now and then figure out from there how much money I need. So I'm looking at maybe this school, which would be expensive for me to do, uh, but 15 points is 15 points. Um, However, I have plus two, so I'm looking at this going, I have enough here of the of the merchants, I have, I do, keep, right, keep, right. keep this in mind, of course, Fair you point, can still for, for six money buy any single card. What I s notice, two, you have three. a nice line of, of bonuses here. Yes. Maybe for six oh, money. That's actually a fair point. So what you're saying is I sacrifice some of the points here, but I'm going to I'm, make I'm just, up for it possibly. If, it, if, if you then in addition have a nice bonus here, it could be. On the other hand, these two are still out. Yeah. It's just a, a, a one more turn. So, and, f and of course, we need to have these on the table. It's not in your hand. Right. right. But still, it's not bad if you can grab one of these. And refresh my memory on this symbol again. This right is um, that you can build a city for free, but you do not get any bonuses for it. But it's a city. But it would be a bonus at the end of the round. For, um, yes, and right, of course yeah. it could mean it's a last one. Maybe, you know, Ash may need this one. Yeah, you, you take it away from him. <laughs> Maybe, just saying. Right. Just saying. Uh, wow. It, so I'm looking at the level two buildings here. Um, this is actually a pretty, pretty tough decision on what to do, which is a good thing. Um, that's awfully expensive for me to do. Uh, yeah, because would, you need four me. soldiers yes, and you yeah, don't, have you have one. only one. And uh, no, no, it's, it's, it's not a good move. So, whereas this one, absolutely I, you doable. know what? I am. So this absolutely is what we're going doable. to do. Nice. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pay, it looks like eight. So now hold on, you need two uh, trade cities. There is that too. Good call. Okay, so keep going. So here we're looking at <laughs> two, two short there, two short. Eh, not, not horrible, but this is for every city that you have built out there. That might be one to keep away from Ash as well. Um, this actually, it's only five points though. Ah, it's because you're man. getting points per, from the buildings per decline themselves. Phase. Yep. Uh, sorry guys, this is, this is... No, 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 take your time. There are lots of options, of course. It makes me feel better for you to tank every now and then. <laughs> it, it doesn't happen terribly often, but once in a while. So, you know what? I have money. We're going to go ahead and do this. So, I'm going to spend these eight. And okay. Here, I'm going to go ahead and train. Nice. The last train. So, there, I already paid the money. I will take the one time. So, that's eight training. So coming back out here, I'm allowed to train 
any two that are out there. So now I'm looking at these and what could really help me. And I'm thinking I will go ahead and train here one. So that's one there. And then actually, so that gives me two options on cards. And because yeah. I want to make the other ones more expensive, for the, uh, for my compatriots to train, I will then thank take you so him much. <laughs> there, so <laughs> those two go down. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I am done. Okay. Sorry, it took a while, guys. Yeah. But okay. Well, that's the nature of the beast, huh? So, I'm. Let me check this. So I will play. A card. So the problem is, I need to double hourglass to a two hourglass, but I'm not paying anything. I play this card and I have two oracle cities. Mm -hmm. I have three, one, two, so everything's fine. I have seven points, I uh, get seven points, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, well done. There you go. So at 39. Um, I'm getting one of these, but I'm losing a noble, but I'm allowed to remove well a blocking done. marker. So Good job. So I'm back to three spots. There you go. Okay. Um, hmm. Gosh, it's tough. Uh, because yeah, there's, you know. yeah, I mean, there's there's three things that I need to do right now. Um, so this one time. <laughs> yep. Uh, so I will take the Navigate token uh, to yep. build an Oracle City. Uh, that'll cost me two times. Which means it's got to be a double. Yep, that's your that'll last be spot, the double. Right? Um, I'll pay four. Thank you. And I'm going to go ahead and build uh, the Oracle City of Nocrates there and take the cube here. Well done. Thank so you. That is yep. now you getting six another there you go. built six cities. So I'll claim the eight points for that. Good job. Thank you. Well done. So yes, Thank you. very well. All right. Cool. So now for me, I am broke. I have plenty of space. However, though on my tableau, I still have plenty on my time track. So I'm just going to go ahead and take eight money for mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, so. Thank here you. Being oh, you have the eight, money over there. Uh, there and go then I'm go going to take. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I, yeah. Today. Here comes a pop. Yep. Mm -hmm. So there and done. Okay. So. So ooh. I have three spots left. So what to do? What to do? I have ten money. I have no cards. So maybe I should buy a card. We'll see, Bev. We'll see. Uh, wow. So on that note, um, Tom. What I would recommend is uh, later on, here in a little bit, uh, Uli and I are going to sit down for a, a pretty lengthy interview, um, and that's going to air next week. So I would listen to that as to why uh, Spielworks does 1,000 games uh, for their print runs, and that'll hopefully shine some light as to the reasoning behind it. So hopefully that'll, that'll answer your question on there, okay? Yeah. So I spent six money. I'm getting back four. This is three, four, four. The oh, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually getting. I'm picking the four tile here for the temple. So I'm having f ten. So six right. back. Yep. I'm taking two. So next turn Another will be bad. Yeah. Next, yeah. So next turn will be bad. three time that he will still have remaining on his board, but he only has one of his uh, only one of these remaining of his blocking cubes. So it kind of offsets a little bit. And I get a cube for the temple over here. And you here. get another two points, yeah. And two points. Thank you. Yep. Okay. All right. Fix the drapes too. Yep. And so this one is yep. so it's you your turn. Oh, you're done, Ash. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's okay, fine. cool. Oh no, that's perfect timing actually. Um, so I will now that I have money, I will go ahead and pick up cards. 
and I have eight money, so I will take the one that allows me only one time. So there, and I've done a pretty good job of managing to where I only get single times on this. So I will Very pay good. the eight money that I just paid, which I don't care because I'm about to get more at the end of the, during the decline phase. I'm definitely going to take, wrong one. Um, it's the school. Let me make sure that was it. Uh, yes. So I'm definitely going to take this and I'm allowed to take two for eight or lower. So I will take this. Um, however, now I need to be thinking about at the end of the game for any hand cards that I just don't have the prerequisites for, then I'm going to lose points for that right. half of those rounded up or rounded up. up. Yeah, absolutely correct. So I'm thinking that might be a bit risky because I need uh, four of the uh, of the priests. Uh, this one, two, two. I am three short there. You know what? I am not going... I'm going to elect to just do that. That's it. That's mm. my only one that I'm going to build. Okay. All right. So the, now Uli... I have only one left, um, which could be this one. But uh, looking at it, it gives me a single time marker, right. but I can only buy for four. So, so only one right of the first here. four. Right. So, and looking at my tableau, I'm not sure if, uh, if people-wise it's uh, really a smart move because I'm, I'm, I fear that I cannot fulfill it. So, I think I take times two another eight money here. So, okay. I pick, take two back and take a ten here. So, which means it's a single marker and I'm also done. Okay. okay, so we are done, done. So now we go into the decline phase. So new starting player. Nope. Is, is the one. This is, is the one. And clean up your time track. Which so is not nice. Definitely not me. nice. Nope. Nope. No. So these come off. Oops. Yeah, Sorry, excuse me. No, no, no. Please, you should have gone ahead. So no problem here. Yes. So. Then after, and don't forget to remove your markers from your... Buildings yes. and any on your cards, fellas. Advance the turn marker. We are in the ultimate round. And be sure to activate your cities as well. Good call. Yes. Um, two points. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, that man. is not that Boom. many. And here, we'll just throw it out here to yeah. show who is clear. There you go. Wow. Um, I will take for Africa a mm -hmm. marker there um, mm. for. Uh, the Balkans, I'll take uh, five, and then over here, I'll take two points. So here I'm taking an oracle marker. Uh, here I'm taking an oracle marker. <laughs> so, and here it's either two points or, or a temple, temple marker. marker. Temple marker or two points, two points. Okay. Uh -huh. Even though, um, so somebody pointed out, so I'm pretty sure that I took this one. No, that's the one that I took. Okay, then I, okay, so I paid eight. Even though I only took the card that was for six, um, I still paid the eight to take the tile. I just yes. forfeit the rest of the money, Bruce. So just FYI, yep. good looking out. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, all right. you, don't, you don't get change back. Exactly. No. So now we go into uh, activating cities and yep. cards. So for me, again, here... Now I'm getting two, four, six, eight. And then for this, One, two, uh, 10, 12, 14 money going into the final round. I'm getting that because of that during the decline phase and that during the decline phase. I've done a very good job, I feel like, of maximizing this for money throughout the game. It's horrible. <laughs> it's, simple. it's simply horrible. All right, so there's no, this my 14. Fine. And uh, yeah. check card limit. Uh, Uli has none. I have one. Yep. Ash has two. Game on. Final round. Uli, your honor, sir. So first, I take a permanent... Because he's so expensive right now. I take a soldier here. Nice. And then I still do the training action. And the training action means I take... I'm really enjoying this. Oh, me too. And I think you guys know enough to... 
and can trust me at the point to where I'm not saying that because Uli's here. I'm saying that because I'm enjoying the game. Um, it's nice. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm well. legitimately. I'm having fun. Absolutely. I, I am as well. Um, I, I like the, and we talked about this in chaining six? actions mm -hmm. when we did our review on Or at Labora. I like the being able to chain off of the different buildings if yeah. you had enough foresight to be able to build ones that so work So I together. pay 11, so I take back 5. I took these 6, six marker. Yep. I'm taking a single one. So that's some money. And I'm you get using the additional one. Uh, for ah, six yes, and, and this is what I'm doing. I trained this guy twice. Rob, thanks a three lot times. for doing that today. We really appreciate One, it. One, two, three. Well done. So there you go. And this so, is oh, really just captured it. the oh, eighteen here, workers. Um, if you can gently pick up your board, so or here, what, no, don't, yeah, just don't bother. Out. Here, I'll zoom out so folks can see. So you guys can see Uli's board here. He just trained three craftsmen to right. close the gap. So now you can see that he has 18 because all the cubes are next to one another. So between the two sides, he's at 18, which claims that one. So well yep. done. Well done there, sir. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Yeah. So. And so that takes the pressure off me. Um, Good job. I no longer, oh, I no longer <laughs> feel the need to, uh, to, go, to go chasing Uli to... To the worker end. So because it doesn't matter if you're second or third. Second or third point, is both still four, four points. points. Yes. Exactly. So, thank you. That, mm -hmm. <laughs> that, relieves, uh, that relieves the pressure off me. So I'm going to go ahead and build an observatory. Let's see. Here's the two and the one-time marker. So that's two bucks. For the observatory, I have a noble, a priest, three craftsmen. There, there. Okay. So this it's will be... It's like a little tech tree. Yeah, here. it oh, really is. It's it exactly really is. that's yeah. exactly what it's it is. just it's just in and a the different composition format. of your society. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, twelve points for me uh, from forty-two. That'll be up to fifty-four. 54. Somebody's closer. Well, and, we all have made it. Congratulations, and scholars, yes. for having for having uh, built. Yep. Them. Cool. So I'm well done. done. All Thank right. You. So I will go ahead. I mean, everybody else is doing it. All the kid cool kids are doing it. I'll try and be a cool kid. I'm gonna go ahead and build the school. So, technically, I'm too cool for school. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. So, <laughs> I will, I'm going to build this schoolhouse here. So, I will go ahead and let's maximize. Even though I might not need to, I'm still going to. I'm going to pay the four bucks for the single mm -hmm. time. So, four, getting six back. One time. There, there you go. Yep. So, now, here's the school. So, I need three warriors. I only have two. There's another right there. Oh, my, uh, my. Have a buck back. Here's a three. Oh, it's is the there? Same. Okay, cool. So there, and we'll replace that one, the four, with the three. Thanks. It's a buck. That's yeah, yeah, no, I appreciate it. So, as I said, the warrior was two. I used this one for the third one. I need one more for the uh, org or the. Uh, uh, priest right there um, a temporary there and a temporary one there and then I have two and <gasps> I'm one short that's good that's, okay. a, <laughs> that's good news put those back put this back get my three bucks back there and two but I'm going to keep the one time real quick because here's what I'm going to do I'm going to train so what do I need to train I need to train a priest ideally and or a uh, senator, so I'll just go ahead and tra train the priest, which is four, so I will take the lesser. So I took my money back. Sorry about that, guys. So I will pay four now, and I will train up to two people at the four level. Um, oh, hey, looky here. There's there's no reason not to train yeah. him twice. No. So I will go ahead and train him from there to there. Yeah. Now I'll be able to do it next turn. No harm, no foul. So Uli, no, you're right. Up. Absolutely. So what to do? I think I will buy a card. But these are too expensive for me, so I'm triggering these two effects. So yep. first using this one so I normally uh, so first I have to take a single hourglass right I would have to pay four for it but okay. I'm I'm determining I'm only paying one. Oh, nice and nice so job. here let me let me show folks yes. these two I think that'll be pretty good all right so what Uli's saying is he has these two effects right here so this one says as in action 
he only he doesn't have to take the tile. He only pays the one time he Oops. gets for and it's a max of four. However, because he has this, he this allows him to set the price of any time he draws a card. So he chose to draw uh, the card that's at uh, one, only cost him one dollar. Pays, pays exact so change. So he pays exact, exact change. He pays one buck. So well done, you sir. Well done. Yeah. Well, let's see if it because I want to play this card sure. later. Yeah, so, yeah. but I have eighteen people. So uh, if I have, I can normally play any card. Right. But on the other end, I do not have that many left. But still, this only cost me one space here. So. Correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Um, oh, did I? Hold on. Um, uh, forgot to shift the train priest. No, I trained him twice, so that's why he went back. Oh, to he that. means up here in the market. Oh, good yeah, call. That's true. Good that's call. true. Wait, Absolutely. Way to go, peanut gallery. Good yeah. call. Thank you. All right. So um, I got greedy a few turns ago, and I took a Hanging Gardens that I wasn't really that well positioned <laughs> to, uh, to build. So excuse me while I shuffle my workforce uh, to build a giant pile of gardens here. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. going to pay one to move this down and that up. I'm going to pay another to move this down. No, you're actually already there. I'm doing that on purpose oh. so that when I build this... Um, and I get the additional noble, it's not lost. Oh, Yay. well done. There so, you go. Good, uh, good planning, I'll sir. be taking this action to pay three. Uh, that'll be two coming back for one hourglass to build the Hanging Gardens. Uh, that's five, count them, five uh, craftsmen, two warriors, and a templar, uh, and a priest, and then one additional noble. So ten points for green. Wow. Points. This good is job. a lot now. So, good job. Oh, wow. All right. Amazing. Very uh, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Meeple Pete asks, uh, if you have 18 people, can you still boost with virtual ones? I assumed you could. You can, of okay. course. Right. If, cool. it, if it doesn't fit, uh, then you still can do this. Okay. And I may need to do this because yeah. uh, I, I have this card, but for me it, it's fine, but it could be that still 18 are not enough for the very expensive cards. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm going to redo what I tried to do last time. So here we go. Four. And that's going to cost me one time and four money. So there and one time to build this card. So here we go. Three warriors. I'm short one, so there's one. I have two priests. I have three, actually. We're good. I'm short one senator. Good. And I have plenty of um, what are, uh, merchants. So we're good to go. That gets built. That's going to be a total of 15 points, and I lose one of my warriors by doing so. But 15 points is 15 points, and that's eight cards. So 15 nice. is going to be at 16. I'm wow. black. There we go. 17. 17, yes. And then, hey, I get my own. Everybody's got one now. And on top of that, I'm only two trains away from being able to get to 18. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so here's a question also. It's only at the moment you qualify for these, right? So I'm not going to lose this one. Okay. So right, because uh, again, because uh, when you have less and you, you still keep these you, markers. You are it would, th this would be a nightmare uh, okay. to... to to do this because I'm now playing this card here mm -hmm. and we will immediately see this. Okay. Uh, right, so cool. I am taking this one. I have to take a double one and which I do I need to do this. I need one more action. Now I take two single mm. ones. And Space Monkey, who we will be coming to visit in June in Sweden, says Uli didn't explain it, but Ash cooking could continue to build cities even though he doesn't have any cities in his personal stock he just relocates one if you want yes I did, uh, very well done Good i catch. did not yes yeah, okay. i did not mention this at all TMI yes at the time yeah, sure. yes yeah, yeah. okay so I, I played this card. Uh -huh. I have the people because this one is actually yep. four here. Nice. Um, I can build a city mm -hmm. immediately, but and it has to be an oracle city. This is the only remaining spot. I do not get any bonuses here. So right for this is, because uh, the, the card says yeah. he doesn't get any bonuses. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm losing uh, one of the priests. Uh, so this is been done. Now yep. I'm back to seventeen, but I'm not losing this tile. I'm yeah, not losing the victory points. It, once you hit it, you're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Five. and I'm getting for this. I'm getting eleven points. Wow, right. bonuses so here. Yeah, I'm trading. Pretty competitive yeah. game here, guys. It is. So, yeah. It is. Right, Ash. So, you have 
realistically two turns left. Yeah, and I started. I started, so I have only one left. So yep, this okay. is yep. fine. I, I can. I have three left. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's see. So maybe start player for our ne next yeah, turn. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it is an option. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Um, and that's really a shame because I want to be able to do more than just. Man, I want to be able to do more than just those those things. Um, so let's go ahead and get the get the points that are easy and within grasp. The low hanging fruit. Yep, I'll pay through the nose uh, eight uh, to train train up my people. That's frustrating. Okay, uh, and that'll that'll just be one hourglass, and for that, um, let me see here. If you need three, you have the option. That's the thing. I don't need the three. Um, yes, right. So, uh, but I've spent eight. Um, Anything I'm is going possible. To spend one, one of the. Mm, well, I say that. Um, it will not be at Essen, uh, Mr. Goodfilm. We we actually explained that earlier that uh, uh, Uli sold out. Um, the only way to get it right now, outside of possibly a handful of copies down the road in a month or two. Um, is uh, fun again here in the States. Or uh, obviously through a retailer that may have gotten copies. Yes. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm probably not going to tax here. Famous last words. Uh, <laughs> so I'll go ahead and do this and just train no uh, one taxes. priest and then one merchant. So that was a priest and a merchant trained uh, up here. Hmm. Mm, you have mm, one option left, right? One one action, basically. Right. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the Era 1 cards, actually, to see... If you can play one of them. If if uh, So I have enough money. I have six money to oh. be able to do that and action. That, that got me to 18 trained workers, so I'll yeah, go of, and take of course. four. Um... That then I'm looking at what you guys left me for training, which those are really expensive. Three, I might be able to do it. I might be able to do it. So I'm actually okay. So for ten, eh, yeah, is it worth the points that way? Um, you need to get the card on the table as well. If you, uh, if you have one of the low-value cards right. at the end of the game, it's only half points without mm. any bonus. Oh, no, I'm aware of uh, that. So the, the, if you have a card still in your hand at the end of the game, it's only worthwhile to have the three, uh, ERI right. 3 you cards. You know what? Okay, I am going to take one of these actions, which means I'm going to pay $6 to go digging for a card. Okay. So... Take uh, this one. So it, if I had taken one of these, would I have had to have paid the larger amount? Just of like the cards, of right? Of course. So I will take this for six, which is one time. So six money. And the card I'm actually going to go digging for, I already grabbed, which is this road, which is zero points. I get that. But I'm actually going to get points for this. I already qualify. But I'm also going to be able to get a city out um, that may or may not help me. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how yeah. it goes. So there but you go. But I'm now seeing your tableau over there. You have so many, you have three spaces left, three yeah. open ones. Yeah. Ah. Four. 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 That's good. That was a good move then. Yeah. So you see, I've only one city left. So at least I want to have the four points. So it will give me minus points because it's a double amount marker here. Gotcha. Right? So, uh, there is a temporal space left for four. Oh, have, have we scored for these? We haven't added the scores yet for these. Oh, we have? We then have. I did not. We have. Okay. I think. Then eight more. I, it, I'm... They're telling me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, too bad. So, so I, <laughs> yeah. I, hope, I hope nobody would notice, but it's, it's horrible. Uh, it's really horrible. So, okay. I'm uh, using... What do I do? What do I do? I take... Uh, the prerequisite oh, is only confirmed when you play the card. Zero cool. Yeah. So I'm taking this temple action here. Okay. I pay four. 
No, it's only the moment you play the card. That's the, the only problem time is that I need to take a double marker, yeah. so I'm That's done. Tough. And I already placed it over here, so I'm getting a temple marker, which hmm. in the end will be a point. I, I think it's one point per two. But I'm also getting another temple marker and two victory points, not that it's that important. So, but, oops. Another well four points. Got a second here. one. There you go. All right. Ash. Okay. You're so I'm finished. Yeah, so yeah, Uli's game's done outside of final scoring, obviously, yep. in the decline phase and everything. So do we do finish the decline phase, correct? Yes. Okay, good. Because uh, we, we need to, to remove all the these cards. Right. And to flip over those doubles to a single. Exactly. Yes. So it's only counts Which one Which you people are two. really going to need. Um, <laughs> so... I think that I'm just going to take this, um, I still can't get it straight, uh, the scribe action. Okay. Here. So that'll be one hourglass. I'll pay eight to come back. And for that, I think, I think this one, because that's 18, that's a nice chunk of points. Um, that precludes this one. Um, probably puts me within striking distance of the Colossus. Yes, so I will take these two, and while I'm doing it, I'm going to use my final Oracle uh, tokens to adjust my workers to make sure that these cards that I took, that I know that I can't play, yep. I can at least meet the prerequisites when yes. we're uh, counting. That's going to be important. One of the two uh, actions, and then this will be the other to get me up to one... Oh, no, I can't do that. Hang on. I don't know if I can hold you guys off. It's going to be close. Oh, um, what? Changing your mind? Yeah, I may have to, sadly. Um, here, let's just back all that up. Sorry, guys. No, no problem at all. I did it once. That's those I get two. that. One, two... Um, Yeah, I had to have been there. Um, so I need to be three there and three there and four there. Golly. Uh, another thing what you can do is not pay eight. If mm -hmm. you just won one card with your... Pay with four. Self, yeah. Just pay four, but uh, on the other hand, it doesn't... You have one space left. Yeah. But it gives him money, which is endgame point, which might be an extra point. Yeah. Ten, for ten money, you get one point. Right, but yeah. I, and I, then it's a pretty it's, it's a pretty tight game. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought about that, and I okay. thought that okay. you know sure. it's hard to hard to put that one one to good use. Sure. So I'm for sure going to take this card. Okay. Uh, which means that of the others, um, yeah, I'll take no because that's one and four. Nope. Hmm. Hang on. Can I actually do this one? Because that's the whole premise of this entire turn. Um, with two actions, each one is two moves. So that's one, two. No, I can't. One, two. Because I need those to get to three, so I can't get to that. This one is tough, yeah, but it's 18 victory points, of exactly. course. Exactly. Um, maybe for eight, you want to take one of these cards? Yeah, maybe. Um because uh, you need to look about... Well, we, you don't have that many bonuses yeah. on the, in the top row. You have the, the second one from the uh, yeah, top. Yeah, I have three, three of each of them. Um, yeah. Sorry, guys. No, no problem. Um, Take your time. Three. I'm done anyway. Right. So, yeah. so uh, I can trash talk uh, now. So <laughs> <laughs> and Edward can already think about it. Yeah. Oh, I've been trying to rack my brain to how to shift two workers um, and failing to come up with a way how to do it. Um, I need to be able to build an oracle and you guys have no oracles left. You've seemed very selfish in that regard. So, um, uh, maybe you can build a city mm -hmm. and by that activate an oracle city. Do you have an oracle city? Mm, yeah. Uh, 
uh, uh, redo. Yeah, but this one is just points, victory yeah. points. Yeah. Because this would allow to yeah, give you, you a button and then in the next turn. That's how. Yeah, yeah. that's how. Okay. Good to know. Uh, so I do that, which is... No, I got I to gotta get that plate. It's worth too many points. Okay. There, there. And then that. So that's it. Okay. Yep. Stay on target. You figure it out? Yeah. You are buying a Not card. Not really. Though, right? Yeah. I'm. Uh, then I'll go ahead and say that's question. my How's only. That? That's my only way to do it. Is okay. To reach for reach for that. So on my turn, I'm just going to play a card. So I will spend the zero money here. There, which gives me two time. Now you might be asking yourself. Why would I not take a double time? But that's going to lose me points if I had to take a double time because any time that are left on here at the end will cost me. So here I will go ahead. I can play this guy. No problem. Zero points, but I get this symbol, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six points for that. Which is nice. And it also gives you a city. Yep. But it doesn't give me a bonus, but it gives me a city. So, and it must be on a good, so money is, uh, it looks like money, so because I get one of those, I might as well take one of those. I don't get the bonus now, but I will at the end of the round. Exactly. And then, Ash is done, because he can't do anything else, so I will just go ahead and take four money for that, because I only have oh, yeah. one space left over here. And that four money may be an extra point, which I very well might need uh, to be able to do that. And that's it. So Ash is done. I'm as done. Well. Everybody Everybody's is done. done. Yep. We go into the decline phase. Nobody took start player. Clean up the time track. And this does matter at this point. And the reason is because these come off and all of these for me are going to clear. However... Mm. There. Yeah, well, I have one spot. I have one he left. Has one yep. left. And Ash has one left. One left Going to lose points. Uh, only two, but going to lose points for that. Some. Yes. So we have that. There. So and there. All right. So medicine. then uh, advance the game. Right. That's it. Um, and then activate cities and civ cards. So again, for me, I'm getting a total of two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen dollars. Uh, I'll take three points. Um, and actually, since we're here. Uh, two more as well, please, for this city. Um, that's And I will take two for this city, and I will take five money for that one. I don't. Uh, you only get one per color, yes. so there you go. So in the green area, I can take an oracle or an oracle, so I take an oracle. Good which choice, is, excellent which choice. Which in the end actually is a victory point. point. Nice, so sure. So green, red is two victory points, or a marker, yep. it's yeah. two victory points. And, then and here marker. it's an oracle. Yeah, well, this one is actually doing nothing. Oh, so right. that's what it is. Okay, card limit. Okay, no one is at uh, two for Ash, yep. zero and zero for Uli, and now we go into final, final scoring. scoring. So here we go. So the only one who has cards is Ash. So right. we are looking into his two cards. So my two cards, I have an unbuilt music school and an unbuilt palace. Um, I uh, kind of manipulated everything so that I would make sure that I met the requirements for both of them. So I'll score half Rounded up. So yeah, that's going to be 14 for points. That'll be 14 points. Which is nice. So it's 34. Is this correct? Yeah. Uh, oh, for green though. Oh, uh, so Sorry, it was really. 20. Yep. So yeah, well, it's uh, 37. 37. Okay. Wow. What? <laughs> <laughs> it should have been white. <laughs> so <laughs> the next step then is Bonus uh, hands for a good team. Well, hold on. Hands <laughs> that can't be fulfilled would have lost points for half. But yeah, but, but these have, have been cards. fulfilled, so Absolutely. everything's fine. Then one point for every 10 coins. I'm going to get a total of two more points. Nice. For that. Ouch. Yeah, no and, points here. And then uh, one point. Per two wooden cubes. I'll take on the one oracle. point for that. No points. And I get nine. Two points, which two is points. now really not too important because I immediately lose, lose these points for points. my single one yep. here. And Ash 
is my one lose time two tile. Points. And, and look at that now. And I converted this 8 one, to 10 specifically two. to knowing. So, so again, two cards. one, two. two. <laughs> Shall I do this again? <laughs> one, two. <laughs> so Ash, Ash wins with uh, 50, uh, 86. To 85. To 85. Oh, well, this and, is 70. Excellent teacher. teacher. Oh, well, teacher. well, thank you very much. But right. thank you for playing. And you played both oh my gosh. very, very well. That so was, so uh, really nice. Nice. Really that was good. really enjoyable. So hopefully you guys at home um, enjoyed that. So, okay, we'll start with you. Your first game of it. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm amazed how fluid the mechanics are. Uh, picking, you know, it's worker placement, but it isn't. And so the kind of way that that's been turned on its head um, makes the game really fluid. And for me, I'm a sucker for, for antiquity, for civilization type games. Just like you said, the buildings you're building, your, uh, your worker or your training your workers or your society is almost like a tech tree. And that really scratches that itch for building the technology tree. Yep. Um, the way these kind of agglomerate on each other is so, so much fun. Um, Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for teaching. No, th um, thank you for playing. So, this, so play. I remember uh, at the beginning of the year, this was on, I think, two of our threes. Um, anticipation. Top, anticipation yeah. lists uh, for this year, and rightly so. And uh, I think it's proven out uh, as as well well deserving of that. Yep. For me, um, I love that being able to have a strategy and execute it and plan everything, even though there is a little bit of, uh, you know, getting in each other's way, which there needs to be, I feel Absol like. And Absolutely. There, and there is that. But even so, I was able to focus on what it is that I wanted to do. Um, and then whenever you guys took an action that mm -hmm. I needed, I was able to figure out a way it wasn't an obvious oh okay he did that i'll take this then whatever i actually had to try and plan out yeah, to how to do yeah. everything that i wanted to do um so like you said in the anticipation i was looking forward to this uh because it's stefan reesthaus's mm -hmm. follow-up to arc right which we all hold in very high regard Thank um you. and i didn't really know anything about it when i interviewed you Uli, at Essen last year, you had mentioned that there's a very cool time mechanic in this game, and you described it, and it still, I didn't exactly know how it was going to look or how it worked out, but I gotta say that I really enjoy this, that you're, you're making your own choices. Do you want to load up to save yourself spaces now to be able to have more actions or be able to space them out to where they'll clear to where you can then do more actions on a subsequent turn mm -hmm. so overall i would say really well done i really enjoyed this um i'm excited that we have a copy in our group i yeah. apologize to everybody that this is sold out there's nothing there's no way that i could have gotten this quicker to have preemptively gotten it before it sold out so sorry. Um, so I'm curious on your take. Now I realize this is your game, and by your game I mean you. I'm so biased, it. of course. Any sure. game I do, I, I like. Uh, I like it a lot. But uh, I even imagine that's why you do the game. Exactly. So, right. but when I, but already when I saw the first, uh, when I saw the game for the first time, uh, so Stefan, in my opinion, did, did a really great job here. So it, it's. Really, although at first glance oh. it may seem so that it's mm -hmm. very complex, but it isn't. It, it really isn't complex. It has hardly any downtime. At the end, we notice it a little bit sure. because each and every action is important sure. and, and you want to play as well as uh, possible. But I think Ash made a very good uh, comment too. Of course, this is what sets the game apart, the time mechanism, how you manipulate the people. But it's really a worker placement game turned around, so yeah. on it, uh, turned on its head. Because you're not putting a marker on a spot here, you're, you're taking something right. away from the others. Yeah. So in a way, it's, it's, it's the same thing, but it's in, in a very different way. Especially because the costs are different. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's, you don't have any money, so I take the inexpensive one. But then I need to, to have one more time involved in there. Right. So this is, in my opinion, it's, it's really nice. And uh, we, we talked about this very briefly yesterday. And I have some problems with games nowadays, which have um, really chains of 
not actions, but um, in the future, you have to really look very deeply into the future kind of, of the a game. Kind of a butterfly sure. effect, effect or opacity. Yes, yes, of course, this is here also. You buy cards now and then play them later, but it's not so apparent, it's not so much of a brain burner. But you, you, you see, you played very well in your first game and you ended up here. Um, and some other players who are not so in uh, experience they will end up they don't even need the 50 right. uh, here mm -hmm. so i think it's a game really for experts but others will still enjoy it and yeah, they don't I, have the I, I could see that and they don't have the feeling that the expert players are playing or using 70 percent of the playing time and they do it the rest so it's still pretty much mm, because uh, the turns even. go so quick yeah. right and now for anybody watching after the fact you guys know that when we live stream these, they take considerably longer. I would say if the three of us sat down to play this again right now, it'd probably be, my guess, 75 to 90 minutes. I was thinking an hour and 10 minutes. Yeah, okay. exactly. So, so The same. Yeah. 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 And, and two-player games can be even a little bit faster with experienced players because it's going back and forth. So the only so to be clear, what scales on the two-player? It's just the the locations and out here, right? You no, know, some 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 less markers. Okay. So right, this is right. one thing. Okay. And you put uh, cubes on all the uh, yellow cities. To block that so, off. so the yellow cities and here these three are, uh, no, this one is even in, so it's just these uh, six okay. here. There so go. there's a little bit more concern. Interesting, in my um, opinion, is uh, the market mechanism because you, when you're, when it's your turn, uh, let me grab some of the, you know, we don't have a lot of, uh, of discs here, but when it's your turn, you uh, place uh, one of the discs, oh yeah. Money, maybe. Uh, on between two actions and let's assume these are the two actions here mm -hmm. and I place my disc in between so now I may use both actions in my my choice in which order it's not that innovative of course let's assume it's um, your turn next you put your uh, disc on top of mine. Right. So now you do these two actions mm -hmm. in your order of your choice. And then again, I'm using. Uh, I'm again. Oh, wow. Both of them. Both of them. Well. Okay. And so right. next thing is the third player is putting one. And then it's again from top to bottom. <laughs> Only yeah. the fourth one. Let's say again for whatever reason, sure, because yeah. the market is larger. It's not uh, that immediately somebody is doing this. It's doing like this again. First three. Wow. Uh, conducted the fourth one is transferred into the city council of F Florence in a okay. seat there and there are 15 scoring tiles and these are randomly put here but open so you know okay. in which order they are done and now the first one is conducted the scoring okay. so immediately of course if let's assume I'm very bad in this sc scoring thing here I wouldn't do this necessarily sure. because I know you the scoring is done. To, right. But um, it, it's it's very difficult to describe in in uh, five sentences. But this is really very strong. It's well, a very strong. We're game. gonna play it tonight, and then we're gonna record the episode before I head out to Gen Con tonight at about eleven eleven thirty. So listen for a brief first impression of Gentes of. Uh, Kalimala. Kalimala, I struggle with that name so bad, I keep wanting to call it something totally different, as well as Feudum um, and Vasco da Gama, so cool. So Well done, thank you no, so yes. much. No, I thank you for your time, yeah, so thanks a lot, awesome. Oh my God. Uh, much appreciated. Thank so, and thank you everybody <laughs> for watching both live as well as after the fact, we really appreciate it, don't forget, like, subscribe, everything down below. Last but not least, big thanks to our 314 patrons that we have out there, um, wow. without them, this ain't happening, and and we're not able to bring you this type of content. So if it's something that you want to support, we really would appreciate it. Patreon.com forward slash heavy cardboard. So on behalf of myself and Amanda, Ash, Uli. Thank you so much. So thanks, everybody. We'll catch you all later. Bye, guys. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.